Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning, KSL News Time. It's 5 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Utah's governor has officially signed off on the bills to help fund two new professional sports stadiums in Salt Lake City. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details, Adam. Amanda, the first bill raises the state's rental car tax and sets up taxes in a new district around the state fair park where they could end up building a new Major League Baseball stadium if we get a team. Larry H. Miller Company is also investing $3.5 billion to transform that part of the west side. Chief Corporate Affairs Officer Amanda Covington recently told me having the state's support does help their case. We wouldn't have this vision or have been working as hard as we have or putting the public private you know, legislation in place or this private investment if we weren't confident that this was the very best market for an expansion team. The second bill would raise Salt Lake City's sales tax by half a percent, which would help fund a new home for the Utah Jazz and a potential NHL franchise, though that tax still needs to be approved by the Salt Lake City Council. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Salt Lake City's redevelopment agency is laying out its vision for Japantown as the city tries to balance cultural preservation and downtown development. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. The West Quarter project is already underway with a parking structure on First South, also known as Japantown Street. It's part of the downtown master plan to support the Salt Palace, Delta Center, and future retail options. But leaders from the Japantown community have asked the board to not make them into a forgotten alley. Senior project manager Corinne Piazza says they're pursuing a shared vision of celebrating Japantown on that street with a streamlined walkway and some added features. These are your benches and bollards that may have great design to them, history and storytelling elements that talk about this historical importance of the area and art elements as well. Funding has not yet been secured for the estimated $7.5 million project. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. A long standing bar in Salt Lake City may be closing its doors. In January, a plumbing problem forced the Sun Trap to close for a day. According to Q Salt Lake Magazine, the bar closed down again just 10 days after reopening. It seems that closure may be permanent. The Sun Trap surrendered their alcohol license. Michelle Schmidt from Utah's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Services says that liquor license will be made available to another business at their next meeting. The Sun Trap would have to go through the application process all over again if they want to get it back. The phone line for the Sun Trap has been disconnected and the bar's social media accounts haven't been updated since mid-January. The bar's owner could not be reached for comment. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. A federal appeals court late last night put a Texas immigration law back on hold just hours after the Supreme Court cleared the way for the state to begin enforcing the law. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest now from Washington. The late night decision came just hours after the Supreme Court allowed the law to take effect while it's being challenged in the appeals court. The appeals court will hold a hearing today to determine what's next. Supporters of the law known as SB4 say something needs to be done to stop the influx of migrants crossing the border. The original law was signed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott last December and made entering Texas illegally uh, a state crime subject to deportation. The Federal Reserve will announce today if they'll adjust interest rates. ABC's Daria Albinger has more. Fed Chair Jerome Powell told Congress earlier this month the central bank still expects to cut interest rates later this year, but he says they need more proof that inflation is nearing its 2% target rate. So far, it hasn't seen enough, so the Fed is expected to adjourn its latest meeting with the decision to leave interest rates alone. The interest rates impact everything from car loans to credit cards to mortgages. Some people in Park City are trying to stop a giant house from being built by the richest man in Utah. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with the details. Peter? Tim, Park City residents are appealing a planning commission decision in February to let billionaire Matthew Prince build a giant home in the Old Town neighborhood. The Salt Lake Tribune reports that neighbors of the proposed 11,500-square-foot mansion are upset that Prince allegedly tried to change the area's building rules instead of changing the plans of his own home. According to the Tribune, residents say Prince's house would almost double the allowed height of buildings at 53 and a half feet tall, would cover sensitive areas, and would lay a driveway across part of a neighbor's property without their consent. On the other hand, Prince's lawyer calls it a typical NIMBY case, meaning not in my backyard. Reporting live, Peter Johnston. KSL News Radio. First look, traffic now takes us over to you, Andy. Amanda, we're off to a quiet start on our freeways this morning. No crashes or delays to start off. Weather not a factor. We do have some 
Uh, heavy traffic already on Bangor Highway in West Valley. There was a temporary closure of uh, Redwood Road overnight, but it looks like that has reopened in Salt Lake City. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The Harriman City Council is going to crack down on illegal parking. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson reports. The fines go from $25 to $100 with a maximum of $200 if warranted based on repeated violations, according to a Facebook post from the city after the council voted the increase. A comment on X, formerly known as Twitter, from the city clarifies that parking on a public street in a restricted area near a fire hydrant, a no parking zone, during a snowstorm or in front of a driveway access will now result in a minimum of a hundred dollar fine this does not apply to private roadways or parking lots they say the mayor says 25 dollar fine was not enough to detour people from parking illegally at black ridge reservoir mark jackson ksl news radio well the play-in games of the ncaa tournament ended last night with colorado state and wagner getting wins and advancing to the first round we have two more first four games tonight with grambling state facing montana state and then colorado taking on Boise State. Anybody stay up till midnight last night to watch the end of the Utes game? I did not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, the Utes men's basketball team did get a win late last night in the first round of the NIT, knocking UC Irvine out of the uh, tournament. Utes head coach Craig Smith says it feels good to hit the 20 win mark. So a lot of good efforts from a lot of people, but I just thought we played really, really hard. The Utes now host the Iowa Hawkeyes in the second round coming up over the weekend. The opening day Dodgers debut for Shohei Otani was almost delayed by a bomb threat. The game is being held in Seoul, South Korea, and officials there say they received an email threatening to hurt Otani as they played the Padres. Fifty extra police officers have been called in to keep a close eye on the stadium. And the annual ranking of the world's happiest people shows that Americans are getting more frustrated. Finland has the world's happiest people for the seventh year in a row, according to the World Happiness Report. For the first time in the 12-year history of the poll, the U.S. is out of the top 20, falling to 23rd. That's because of a major gap in opinion between older and younger Americans. Those over 60 have the U.S. as the 10th happiest country in the world. But looking at people under the age of 30, the U.S. ranks 62nd. That's ABC's Brian Clark reporting. That is interesting. Coming up, no difficulties right now on the city streets or the freeways. I'm looking at the cameras, and it all looks like it's running smooth, but we'll check it. Traffic and weather together coming up next. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. Well, I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes, and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief. America is number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Cancer affects all of us. Today alone, 5,370 people in the United States will be diagnosed with cancer. That's why Stand Up to Cancer funds and develops the newest and most promising cancer treatments to help patients today. Stand Up to Cancer wants to provide you with every opportunity to join in this mission. By donating your home, land, or commercial property, you can help Stand Up to Cancer fund innovative cancer research. Donating eases the stress associated with selling a home and can also help lead to the next breakthrough in cancer prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Stand Up to Cancer makes the process easy and it may be tax deductible. It will take all of us standing up together to put an end to cancer as we know it. Help us save lives right now. Your home or property could hold the key to the next breakthrough in cancer research. Visit standuptocancer.org slash give property to learn more. Those sports stadium bills got the uh, governors, John Hancock, last night. So they're officially now done. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll just wait and see, I guess, what happens with uh, bids going out for an NHL team or a right. Major League Baseball team. Pretty soon we'll see more cranes around here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll follow up on that with our Adam Small this morning. It's 509. Time for a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Well, Tim, not a bad start this morning through Salt Lake County. Light traffic on I-15 so far. And uh, out of Tooele on I-80, nothing to slow you down. It is a bit heavy, though, Redwood Road, but it's just north of 1700 South going up towards California Avenue where I think they're doing some road work. Heather? Also have some pretty light traffic flow in Weber and Davis counties. I-15 US 89 Legacy Parkway, they're traveling at speed with very few cars on it. You do have a little bit of congestion, though, trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. This is on 650 North in Clearfield. Eric? Looks like we got some slower moving vehicles into the mountains. If you're on I-80 going out to Park City, you got some eastbound slowing going by the East Canyon exit, and then on the westbound side going up over the top of Parley Summit. I-15, Utah County, no problems there, northbound or southbound. The Serta mattress sale is happening now at Two Brothers Mattress. Get a queen Serta mattress for $379. That's a Serta for three seventy nine. dollars Visit one of their five stores or twobrothersmattress.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Look for a high of 68 today. Sunny skies, absolutely perfect spring weather. Overnight, we'll go to 44, clear skies. Partly cloudy tomorrow, 67, with a slight chance for a shower in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 44 degrees to start the morning. I guess the impeachment uh, hearings into President Biden will continue today. There is a guy who will be testifying who is a one-time business associate of Hunter Biden's. He's going to testify on Zoom from prison. Oh, wow. We'll have more on that. We talked to Stephen Portnoy just ahead on KSL. Stay with us, and remember, you'll always find us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan plan that whatever we start out our income at in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Dave and Dejanovic. You may not be interested in everything we talk about, but I guarantee you listen for three hours. We're going to hit several things. Everything from politics to how the economy is impacting your family's pocketbook. Listen for Dave and Dejanovic 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. KSL News Time, 515. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Salt Lake City leaders are sharing their vision for Japantown. They're trying to reconcile downtown development plans with concerns in Japantown about preserving the history and culture. I'm KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson. Second, some people in Park City are trying to stop an extra large house from being built by one of the richest people in Utah. 
3rd. It's a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. It's been pretty quiet as we start off on the freeways. I-15, not seeing any slowdowns. If you're taking I-80, you might get a little bit heavy going up towards Parley Summit in the canyon. No issues in any of the other canyons to start us off. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spring fever in full force again today, but changes for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now it's 43 downtown. Time for a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. The battle over a Texas immigration law continues. Hours after the U.S. Supreme Court said deputies in Texas would be allowed to arrest, detain, and deport migrants possibly suspected of being illegally in the U.S., an appeals court stepped in to halt that law once again. ABC's Perry Russom has more. The Biden administration argues the law would make Texas less safe and will burden law enforcement. And it argues the law infringes on the federal government's authority over immigration. The White House also slamming Republicans for killing the bipartisan border security bill last month, which critics say did not do enough to address the crisis. If the Texas law does go into effect, Mexico's government yesterday said it will not accept under any circumstances any deportations from Texas. The appeals court holds a hearing today on the bill. Primaries in Arizona, Florida, Illinois, Kansas, and Ohio moving Joe Biden and Donald Trump closer to their November rematch. That is the Republican-led impeachment inquiry into President Biden continues news today. The hearing is meant to dig into what Republicans have called influence peddling. Former Hunter Biden business associates are expected to testify. But Democrats have called former Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnas. He's expected to speak of how Republicans worked to find evidence of Biden-related corruption in Ukraine. The White House counsel has said the impeachment effort is, quote, over and that it's time to move on. ABC National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy in Washington. Famine imminent in Gaza and now in Haiti as well, according to U.N. experts because of violence there. ABC's Matt Rivers is in Port-au-Prince. Consider where we are. It's Haiti. It's an island. They import a lot of their food. How? Through highways and through the ports. Well, if the port is closed and the airport is closed and the highways leading to the Dominican Republic are completely controlled by gangs, well, where does the aid come from? With a hotter than expected inflation rate out just a few days ago, the Fed's expected to keep interest rates steady, not lower them at today's meeting. You're listening to ABC News. Let's go in depth now. Hunter Biden and others have declined uh, to take part in the House impeachment hearing today. Joining us live is ABC News correspondent Stephen Portnoy. Who will be testifying today, Stephen? Well, the panel, the House Oversight Committee, is going to hear from one in-person witness on the Republican side. His name is Tony Bobolinsky. And you may remember that name from the 2020 election campaign. He emerged in the last weeks of the uh, election to say that he knew of influence peddling that was going on uh, by Hunter Biden with his father, Joe Biden's help during Joe Biden's vice presidency. So he's going to testify publicly, appearing virtually, a man named Jason Galanis, who's a former associate of Hunter Biden. Now, he uh, can't appear in person because he's currently serving a 14-year prison sentence in Alabama for securities fraud. But his attorney says that he's willing to provide testimony of his, quote, firsthand knowledge of then-Vice President Biden helping his son in his business dealings. The, uh, another key witness named uh, 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 Devin Archer, who previously told the panel of what he saw, which would involve uh, Joe Biden being put on speakerphone by his son during business meetings, is not going to appear He says he was given too short notice, that he only got word of today's hearing late last week and simply can't make it. And so the hearing will proceed without him. Democrats have called a witness. This is interesting. His his name is Lev Parnas. Now, Lev Parnas was an associate of Rudy Giuliani, also a convicted felon now. But he is expected to speak of the GOP efforts to dig up dirt on the Bidens in Ukraine. And Democrats are probably going to use Lev Parnas' testimony to say this is all a bunch of nothing and that Lev Parnas was part of the effort to find things and couldn't. So we'll see, as the White House counsel says, that it's time to move on, that the impeachment effort on the part of House Republicans is, in his words, quote, over. Why is Hunter Biden not participating? I thought the word was that he wanted to do this. That's a really good question. Uh, He declined the panel's opportunity. He had, despite initially saying that he wanted to take part in a public hearing, uh, he did appear for a closed-door deposition. That happened several weeks ago. And now he says that taking part in a public hearing would amount to a carnival, sideshow, blatant, planned-for-media event. And now Hunter Biden has declined. The panel's invitation. Hmm. 
Fascinating. Thank you, uh, Stephen. Stephen Portnoy with us uh, on the In-Depth, and we'll follow it today and see what we can learn from the hearing and share it with you here on KSL. Weather News Times 519. Let's get a look at traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy? Amanda, some traffic, a little bit heavy on Redwood Road, going from West Jordan into Taylorsville, and then a little bit up by California Avenue. It's been looking really nice on all of our other city streets through Salt Lake County, and we haven't seen any freeway spots yet that have slowed down uh, between Draper and Salt Lake. Heather? Got a little bit of heavier traffic at the interchange of US 89 and I 84 in South Weber. That's the only busy spot I see on the freeways in Weber and Davis counties right now. You do have a bit of congestion on uh, one of the city streets in Clearfield. That's trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, but I 15 at speed from Ogden to Salt Lake. Eric. We've got some slow moving vehicles uh, eastbound on I 80 this morning. They've moved over to the Lambs Canyon area, trying to get up to over the top of Parley Summit. So if you uh, go along in that route and you see some slowing up ahead, just stick to the left, make it a little bit easier for you. A little bit of westbound slowing over the top of the summit as well. US 40 along the Wasatch back, no difficulties. And I 15 from Provo to Lehigh looking good. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on Fifth South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast. It starts out perfect. 68 degrees today, sunny skies, 67 tomorrow, partly cloudy, but a chance for a shower in central Utah. 67, partly cloudy again for your Friday. We'll go 64 with a cold front Saturday day, bringing in rain. And Sunday, chance for showers, 51 colder, 49 mostly cloudy skies on Monday. Back at it with a couple of showers on Tuesday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Clear skies again this morning. We'll make for a beautiful day later, but it's 43 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. March Mathis, I was reading a book yesterday, Tim, and it talked about what happens at Duke for basketball tickets. This anywhere from three to eight weeks before a game, and particularly before the uh, postseason play. they The students create this thing called K-ville or, or Krzyzewskiville. <laughs> where they have tents waiting outside. And the basketball authorities will, like, every at random times, they'll blow this horn, and somebody from the tent has to check in, or they go to the back of the line. Oh, my gosh. And this goes on for weeks for a chance to get in to see the Duke games. Can you imagine? When, when you have been that good for that long, I can see why that gets to be yeah. such a priority. And they have a little stadium there. And p- people have tried to get him to build a bigger yeah. stadium. They don't want a bigger stadium. Yeah. They like the roar of the crowd in that small space. Yeah, it, it, they really do have an incredible home court advantage there. And it makes you feel bad for teams. And, you know, University of Utah, quite honestly, is in a rebuilding phase right now. Yes, right. And, and fans are not looking forward to what, what the Big 12 holds for them next year. Right. But uh, you have to be a little bit jealous of that kind of support. For sure. But, you know, winning, but way to go Utes last night. Winning comes first. They did win last night, and they, they move on in the NIT, so that's great yeah. news. Uh, I think we closed at record highs yesterday, didn't we, on the markets? I know the uh, S&P yeah, so. was at a record high after a big day yesterday. We'll see what the numbers look like when we check money news next. At JCW's, we think tipping might be getting a little out of hand. Like when you're asked to tip at the register before you've even been served, or when you're at the yogurt shop and find yourself serving yourself. And don't even get us started on frosted tips making a comeback. That's why at JCW's, when you pay for a third pound ranch bacon cheeseburger, that's what you pay. And no one at the register is going to stare longingly at you while you awkwardly maneuver through the tip screen for food you don't even have yet. Honestly, we're just happy to see you at any of our five locations in Provo, South Jordan, Lehigh, Harriman, and American Fork. So come on in and enjoy some quality time and great food with family and friends. And we promise we won't be pushing you for a tip. Hey, this is Chris with JCW's, and we just want to say thank you, and especially to our loyal customers. We want you to know that at JCW's, your business is all the tip we need. JCW's, quality and a lot of it. Getting help with electrical repairs is easier than you think. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services or schedule an appointment at anyhourservices.com. 
No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. I like daffodils, tulips, the big dinner plate dahlias. I loved being in the garden, but I wasn't gonna be able to. Cause I couldn't not only walk, but I couldn't really stand on my foot without being in pain. It was excruciating. So my husband said, let's go to the Good Feet store. For over 20 years, we've helped people like Terry live the life they love without letting their feet get in the way. This nice young man said, I think I can help you. He got the arch support and I was fitted. And I kept walking back and forth across the store and I looked at my husband and burst into tears because it was the first time in a year that I have not had any pain in my foot. I have had no pain since the day I bought him. Now I can do whatever I want. There isn't any place on my property that doesn't have flowers blooming 365 days a year. I still can't believe it. My name is Terry and that's my Good Feet story. See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1 800 New Feet or visit goodfeet.com. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The Biden administration has reached an agreement to provide Intel with up to $8.5 billion in funding and $11 billion in loans for computer chip plants in Arizona, Ohio, New Mexico, and Oregon. This is all part of the CHIPS Act, meant to create incentives to create those semiconductors here in the U.S. JetBlue dropping several cities, including Kansas City, uh, Bogota, Colombia, Quito, Ecuador, and Lima, Peru. They're also ending flights between New Orleans and Salt Lake City. Hmm. Uh, they've lost more than $2 billion since 2019. Billionaire Sagar Adani is building a renewable energy park in India, five times the size of Paris Holy cow. and visible from space. Hmm. This $20 billion project will be the world's biggest renewable energy plant when it's finished in about five years and will generate enough power for 16 million homes. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, they have the biggest population yeah, in the world. Yeah, they need it for sure. <laughs> they need it. Uh, I mentioned that the market yesterday closed at a record high. The Dow uh, was up 320 points, just above 39,000. The S&P, I know, was a record. It was up 29, finished at 51.78. The NASDAQ also up 63. But a little bit of that giving back the, this morning. 14 down on the Dow. We're actually up 2.5 on the S&P. And the tech stocks had turned around. They were in red about a uh, half hour ago, but they're up 44 right now. We actually have some slowing this early. It's on 80 through Parley's Canyon. Everything else looks good, though. We'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. Enroll in Farm Bureau Financial Services Driveology, and you'll instantly save 10% on your auto insurance premium. Over time, your safe driving habits could earn you even bigger savings, up to 50%. Learn more and start saving with Driveology at fbfs.com save. 10% savings applied at enrollment for select coverages. Future savings based on individual driving behaviors and varies by coverages selected. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Jazz Plus is here. With Jazz Plus, you can watch games live from your TV, computer, tablet, or phone. So don't miss any of the action when you're at home or away. Can't get enough of your favorite team? Go behind the scenes and see what the team is up to on and off the court. With flexible plans, you can choose what works for you from full season to monthly. Or just pick a single game you want to watch. Sign up and subscribe today at utahjazzplus.com. It's NCAA Bracket Time, and we have you covered. This Thursday and Friday, get bracket updates every 15 minutes. Find out who's winning, who's losing, and who's breaking your bracket. KSL Bracket Fun, all day this Thursday and Friday on KSL News Radio. Join KSL for a Friday night movie show. It's a special this Friday at the Jordan Commons Megaplex Theater in Sandy. Steve and Andy celebrate the opening of Ghostbusters and talk other fun Megaplex announcements. Time now for a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. The good news is I think they feed you while you're there uh, Friday night, don't they? And am I looking forward to that? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. <laughs> and you get to see the movie. That's good stuff. Uh, well, here's what we got on the roads right now, Tim, through Salt Lake County. A little bit busy on Bangor Highway at the intersections between 35th and 21st South, but not as bad as it'll get later on. It looks great on I-15, and so far so good, I-80 from Lake Point to the airport. Heather? Pretty quiet. Up north in Weber and Davis counties, no accidents reported on city streets or the major freeways. If you're hopping on I-15, which is where most of our traffic is right now, heading south from Ogden to Salt Lake, that'll take you less than 30 minutes, but you do have a little bit of congestion around US-89 and 
an I-84, as well as getting into Hill Air Force Base. Eric. Getting over to the freeway, no difficulties in uh, Utah County. I-15, once you get there, is uh, problem-free as well. 28-minute drive northbound from Payson up to Point of the Mountain. Now, Provo Canyon on 189, looking good to uh, the Wasatch Bank. And if you're on I-80 from time to time, we have had some slowing, but right now it looks like a clean drive if you're heading out to the Kimball Junction exit. Revere Health encourages you to schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Let's get a look at that weather forecast. Another spring-like day today. Look at this. It's going to be 68 degrees and sun. We have got to get outside today. And then it stays in the 60s until Saturday. A storm moves in on Saturday and this temperatures start to come down. We'll have rain Saturday, rain mixed with snow on Sunday. Snow in the mountains, of course. Uh, let's see where we are right now. 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 5:30. KSL's top story this hour. Police are trying to figure out why a driver in a motorhome led them on a chase that ended in multiple crashes. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with a story, a Peter. Van. Amanda, we'll start with what we know. This was a motorhome with two people inside that Unified Police identified as suspicious yesterday around 1 p.m. Now, uh, Unified Police Sergeant Amy Ray says the motorhome led officers on a chase from 54th South and Bangor to 4100 South and Bangor, where it ended up, ended up stuck on a median. And after they made their approach to talk to that vehicle, that vehicle backed into the officer's vehicle and then took off. We still don't know why police thought the RV was suspicious or why the driver and passenger tried to run. But I will be following up with Unified Police this morning and report back to you what I hear. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Salt Lake City Police still trying to sort out all the details after multiple people were stabbed outside a funeral home yesterday afternoon during a fight. Salt Lake Police Officer Brent Weisberg says it was a chaotic scene. Inside that car, there were a total of three people. Um, of the three people, two people have minor injuries and they have been taken to area hospitals. The third person from that car has been detained for questioning by our detectives. Police say a total of six people were sent to the hospital. Utah's Great Salt Lake Commissioner is hopeful about how much the lake could rise from this year's spring runoff now that we have a healthy snowpack. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details, Adam. Amanda, it's amazing to think not even a year and a half ago the lake hit its lowest level in recorded history. Now, after a record winter last year and uh, conditions that have followed, the lake is now more than five feet higher, and we still have an above-average snowpack set to come down in the coming weeks. Great Salt Lake Commissioner Brian Steed tells KSL at night, while this is great news, the problem surrounding the lake is not going away anytime soon. I think that it's something we're going to have to be worried about uh, really for the rest of our lifetimes here because we have this... <laughs> We have this problem. We have lots more people coming here. So we have increasing demands on water, and we have a relative flat line on the amount of water that we have here. Steed says conservation and secondary water metering is going to be critical in our fight to save the Great Salt Lake. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Speaking of that snowpack, that could help the Great Salt Lake. KSL Weather's uh, uh, Matt Johnson says while we had a slow start at the beginning of the year, snowpack levels are looking good. By January 3rd, we were still sitting at 67% of normal on our snowpack. Fast forward 76 days, though, to yesterday, we were at 126% of normal. Johnson says the current storm outlook should help uh, keep our levels in good shape. If you're looking forward to some spring skiing, you're in luck. KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington has the details on what resorts are staying open for some blue sky ski conditions. According to KSL Weather's Kevin Eubank, we still have a few weeks of good spring skiing left. Beaver Mountain, Cherry Peak, Eagle Point, Powder Mountain, and Sundance Resorts will close April 7th. Both Alta and Deer Valley are going to close April 21st, and Park City will close the day after on April 22nd. You can ski at Snow Basin until April 28th. Brian Head will stay open until May 5th, and Solitude plans to stay open all the way until May 12th. Brighton and Snowbirds still don't have a final closing date. 
of course, this all could change if we get more snow. Emma Keddington, KSL News Radio. We talked a bit about this yesterday, but spring is here, bringing with it seasonal allergies. So if you had itchy, dry eyes. Every year, right around springtime, the number of patients showing up to the University of Utah Health with swollen, itchy, and red eyes increases. U Health says there are some things that you can do to keep that from being you. One tip is taking care of the area around your eyes. So taking off makeup, wearing sunglasses, or eye protection. Another tip is if you experience any irritation, use something cold or wet instead of rubbing your eyes. And here's a big one. The amount of pollen floating around is highest right around early evening, so if you can avoid being outside for too long at this time, you'll have less pollen exposure. Claire Scott, KSL News Radio. First look, traffic now, and back over to you, Andy. Amanda, crash free start to the drive, so that means the freeways are all in good shape so far. Just a little bit of heavy traffic coming down past 215 into Salt Lake City right now. City streets also uh, not anything out of the ordinary, including at the Gates to Hill Air Force Base. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL's top national stories this hour. It was a win for former President Donald Trump last night in Ohio Senate primary. Trump-backed candidate Bernie Moreno a Colombian-born former car dealer declaring victory in a three-way race, seen as a battle against the state's Republican Party establishment. The people say, well, yeah, but he said that you were tied to Trump. Well, let me just say something. I wear with honor my endorsement of President, from President Trump. I wear that with a badge of honor. Moreno will take on Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown in November, a race crucial for Republicans' hopes of taking control of the Senate. Plans for a Weber County inland port were set to be presented for approval this month, but they are now on hold. Utah Inland Port Authority Executive Director Ben Hart says they want to take extra time to make sure the project will be done correctly because of the wetlands in the area. This is an important ecosystem that we need to protect. Critics have spoken out about the port affecting the environment. New cancer treatment options are being discussed here in Salt Lake City today. KSL News Radio's Tammy Kikuchi reports. The Society of Interventional Radiology will present new research for minimally invasive and innovative treatments for breast cancer, prostate cancer, and postpartum maternal hemorrhaging. Dr. Yolanda Bryce of the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center says her research should reduce the need for breast cancer surgery. Would have actually been offered a mastectomy and not just a lumpectomy. Dr. Bryce says her technique uses cryoblation probes that freeze and destroy cancerous tumor cells. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. It freezes the tumor. Yeah. Hmm. Boy, they're always developing new things. We and hope it, so. We hope so, because we need it for sure. Um, we have normal movement in the valley this morning, which means there shouldn't be any problems out there. But we'll check it. Traffic and weather together coming up next. BYU to Cage. Jackson Robinson with pull and fire. And score from three. Special extended pregame starts Thursday morning at 9 on Utah's legacy home of the Cougars, KSL News Radio. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. This Friday from 10 to 1, the movie show comes to Sound Sleep Medical. But first, Take the time to learn about a better night's rest. Sound Sleep Medical delivers oral appliance therapy that treats sleep apnea without the use of CPAP machines. They're professionally fit, warrantied, and covered by most major medical insurance. In the days of a poor night's sleep, Sound Sleep Medical will help. Call Sound Sleep Medical at 801-716-8672 for details. Sound Sleep Medical. My name is Tom. My name is Cindy. We give to and volunteer with United Way at our community free health clinic. We know our time and money are going to the right places. We don't just wear the shirt. We live it. Give, advocate, volunteer. Live United. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. Two years ago, Americans watched in horror as a crisis unfolded at the Kabul airport. There's desperation and anguish. More than 80,000 Afghans have since arrived in America. But this story is still unfolding. I'm Andrea Smartin. In my new podcast, Stranger Becomes Neighbor, we'll find out what happens to these new arrivals in our communities. Who would help our newest neighbors? Follow us at kslpodcast.com, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere else you listen. You know, if I was going to try and outrun uh, the police or the highway patrol, I don't know that I would do it in a full-size motorhome. Yeah, I saw that motorhome. It wasn't a new motorhome either. <laughs> That's the other thing. Yeah, it looked like a... It was a 1970s uh, vintage <laughs> motorhome. Anyway, strange story from yesterday that could have had much uh, yes. more dire consequences. We're going to follow the story for you in case you missed it. 
uh, with our Peter Johnston this morning. 539 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Amanda, travel through the valley in good shape on the freeways in the city streets. It was heavier on Bangor a few minutes ago going up towards 21st South, but it looks pretty decent now. Same on Mountain View. And no slowdowns on SR 36 through Tooele County. Heather? We're looking great through Weburn Davis counties as well. No delays. Southbound I-15, that's where most of our traffic is, but not enough cars yet to cause any type of slowdown between Ogden and Salt Lake, which is less than 30 minutes. You'll also have a good drive if you choose Legacy Parkway in the West Side Belt and you go to the airport. Eric? I-15 running smooth in Utah County from Springville to Point of the Mountain. That's 22-minute jaunt ahead of you. If you're out in Saratoga Springs, say Eagle Mountain, uh, northbound on Redwood Road, no trouble going up to the Bluffdale Riverton area. Along the Wasatch Back US 40 is a problem free as well northbound from Heber City up to the Park City area. When you choose Performance Automotive and Bountiful, you're choosing exceptional service from four dealers. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country. See PerformanceBountiful.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Another dose of vitamin D and mild temperatures. 68 the forecast high with sunny skies. Would not be surprised if someone hits 70 today. 44 overnight goes to 67 tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, but a chance for showers in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. little dose of vitamin D. Going to get plenty of it today. Right now, clear skies, 43 degrees. I'm a planner. You know, I like to know how things are going to go and be ready for it. Make sure I have everything I need. So I could not function the way Congress is functioning right now Mm. with having a looming shutdown every other week. It's literally every other week. I don't even want to say the word shutdown because I feel like the kid who cried wolf. There was, a, there was a threat of a shutdown, but there's another one this Friday. Yeah, they just keep putting it off. By, well, I thought that what, what they did yesterday or the day before, I thought, pushed it through the end of the fiscal year. Am I wrong on that? You may be right, and I didn't see that. I hope that's the case. I know anyway. we're going to talk to Allie Picorin about it next, and I, I want to ask her about, okay, so when's the next looming shutdown? Because <laughs> we're even tired pay, of talking and about it. I am, yeah. and I think people are tired of hearing about it. Yeah. Uh, All right, we'll try and sort all that out coming up here in just a minute. Remember to look for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. IVC, Interventional Vascular and Vein Center, is having a Hello Spring special event on Saturday, March 23rd. This will be a free screening for varicose veins at their office in Provo. Don't let leg pain slow you down. Come and learn why starting now is ideal to get you ready for summer. IVC has been in business for over 20 years and has been voted the best vein center of Utah Valley for 10 years running. IVC's doctors, advanced practice providers, and sonographers will be on hand to answer your questions. So stop in to IVC on Saturday, March 23rd for a free varicose vein screening. Space is limited, so please RSVP right now. Let's spring new life into your step. Visit iVane.com. iVane.com. That's the letter I, V E I N.com to schedule your new year, new legs free screening at IVC. Because life starts when the pain stops. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it, between imagining living there and breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. Starting March 18th for three days only, shop limited time doorbusters during Lowe's MVP's bonus days. Buy one Metabo HPT 15 degree roofing nailer. Get one box of Metabo HPT one and a quarter inch collated roofing nails free of $49.98 value. Plus, save $39 on a little giant A4 six foot 300 pound step ladder. Shop these deals and more while supplies last. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 320. Selection varies by location. Utah's largest sportsman's expo for the entire family is back Thursday through Sunday at Mountain America Expo Center. Buy the latest gear. Learn from experts in fishing, hunting, and outdoor recreation. This is the place to discover your next adventure, nearby or around the world. Your life outdoors at the International Sportsman's Expo, Thursday through Sunday at Mountain America Expo Center in Sandy. Youth 15 and under, enter free. More info at sportsexpos.com. 
Healthcare with human kindness is here. It's at Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance healthcare in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Together, we have a common purpose, partnering with you in health and healing using powerful medicine, powerful technology, and the greatest power of all, human kindness. You'll know it when you see it, because human kindness is in every care site and in every caregiver. Common Spirit Health. Hello, human kindness. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah's Great Salt Lake Commissioner is hopeful about the lake's levels with an above average snowpack waiting to melt, but he says the problem surrounding the lake is not going away anytime soon. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, plans for Weber County Inland Port have been slowed down while they work through ways to protect wetlands. Third, a look at traffic and weather together. Freeways are still looking good, whether you're on I 15 or I 80 this morning. It's, uh, i uh, been excellent speeds, even on city streets, so pretty quiet so far, as crazy as yesterday morning got. Uh, so far, it's the opposite. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular springtime 60s for the next couple of days, then rain over the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get that look at our top national story. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. That controversial immigration law in Texas was passed, then put on hold, then put in place again, and now is back on hold. Again, thanks to a federal appeals court, here's ABC's Jim Ryan in Dallas. The Supreme Court had given its tacit approval to the statute that allows local police to arrest and detain people who might be in the country illegally, but the high court left the matter in the hands of the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which decided in the middle of the night to block enforcement of the law and to hold a hearing on the matter later today. Catastrophic hunger imminent in northern Gaza and now approaching that in Haiti. Hundreds of thousands of people in both places are close to starving, according to food security experts and aid groups. Federal Reserve wraps up its two-day meeting today thanks to a hotter-than-expected inflation report recently. The Fed's expected to keep interest rates steady for now. As Americans get older, a new report says nearly 7 million people are living with dementia, about 200,000 more than were living with it just last year. This is ABC News. Let's go in depth here. A government shutdown deadline arrives on Friday. Joining us live is ABC News correspondent Ali Pekorin. Ali, it seems like there is a threat of a government shutdown every other week. What is this one? I know. Can you believe that we're back here again? It is truly wild. Um, Here we are again. This time we're looking at a different set of bills than we were just two weeks ago when we were back up against a government funding deadline. This is a bigger set. It comes about 70% of the government. And if Congress doesn't act by the end of the week, we're going to run out of funding for a lot of programs. The good news is it seems like Congress is going to skate through this and avoid any sort of major effect to people back home. But it's going to be a very rocky landing as they try to work this out over the next couple of days. And we say, gee, what a surprise, because it always comes down, <laughs> always comes down to the 11th hour. <laughs> What's changed here is that they're doing this piecemeal, right? And so it gets a little confusing, I think, for people. Oh, my gosh, it is confusing. They broke up the government funding bill. So Congress is funded by 12 individual appropriations bills. Usually they act on all 12 of them at the same time. But this year they broke them into pieces. So like two weeks ago, they acted to pass finally six of the 12 bills. This is the other six. But it's a bigger pocket of bills. So we're talking about things like defense. Homeland Security, Treasury, State Department, like big deal agencies that will run out of money on Friday. If Congress doesn't act, they're going to, but it's going to be very close. They have a deal in hand to get this done, but they still have to move it through Congress, which, as you guys know, takes a little bit of time. And time is running out. They have less than 72 hours to get this done. So is funding for Ukraine in that in that bill somewhere? So this is a defense bill, which will ultimately include some funds that could go to aid Ukraine. But that big pocket of money for Ukraine that Congress has been squabbling over for like weeks and months now is not part of this bill. Mm. Um, The Senate acted on it a few weeks ago. House Speaker Mike Johnson hasn't put it on the floor of the House and hasn't really committed to doing so. Now, he is getting a lot of pressure, especially from the Senate. Both Leader Schumer and Leader McConnell, as recently as yesterday, got onto the Senate floor to urge Johnson to move that legislation. But right now, it's not tied to these government funding bills. And it's seeming increasingly unlikely that it's going to be because with Congress having so little time to get their work on government funding done, they don't really want to complicate it with additional funding for Ukraine. 
Yeah, now I think I heard yesterday or the day before that what gets done here by Friday will fund it through the end of the fiscal year. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So it's a little different than some of the previous government shutdown talk you've heard over the last couple of months because everything that Congress has averted a government shutdown since October, with the exception of this most recent action two weeks ago, it's just been to buy themselves more time to continue this debate. This time it's a little different because they are actually going to finally pass appropriations bills. That'll keep us funded through the end of September, which is the end of the fiscal year. But it's like we're going to be right back in this camp in the fall. Mm. Right before the election. (laughs) (laughs) Right before the election. Exactly. Allie, we appreciate you. Allie Bacorin with us uh, talking about this budgeting process. Well, at least we'll have a few months of not having to say government shutdown. Here's the crazy thing. If you put a camera or a microphone in the face of Democrats or Republicans in the Senate or the House, they'll tell you this is not the way to do business. Right. But they all do business this way. But they all want to do business this way because they think there's leverage in there somewhere Mm -hmm. for them to get what they want. It, it we need just, a paradigm shift. It just never works out, yeah. does it? All right, uh, 549. Uh, let us just say that there won't be a government shutdown. All right, that's the little secret here. Let's see what the roads look like. Uh, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon and go back over to Andy Farnsworth. Well, we're still clear on I-15 from Draper to Salt Lake. It is a bit heavy on Redwood going north of 21st South. We've got a little bit of slowing 56 West up by California Avenue. Uh, for northbound traffic only. Heather? We've got a bit of congestion continuing to form at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. This is both on Main Street and 650 North, but starting to back up several blocks in all directions. You also have a bit more congestion on SR 193 in Clearfield, but most of it is heading westbound away from I-15 in the industrial park area. For anyone on on I-15 itself, both northbound and southbound traveling well with no delays. Eric? I-15 looks good in Utah County. It's a 28-minute drive from Payson to Point of the Mountain, getting over to the freeway and the uh, Orem entrance points up to Temp- uh, Tempanogos Highway if you're coming out of Highland or Cedar Hills. All that looks good westbound, eastbound from Eagle Mountain, Saratoga Springs. So far, no trouble on 2100 North or Pioneer Crossing. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts bonus bonus cash event. Get 11% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000 in including countertop sinks and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 day forecast starting out with some flawless spring weather. 68 today, sunny skies. Tomorrow, a couple of more clouds, 67. Again, with a chance for a shower in central Utah. Friday, partly cloudy, 67. We go 64 with a chance for rain as a cold front plows through Saturday afternoon. Sunday, colder, 51. Chance for rain, mostly cloudy, 49. Monday and into Tuesday, we go 50 degrees with another chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. And we'll check money news coming up in just a minute. Cougar Tracks also right around the corner. Hercules Credit Union presents Ultimate ID Plus, your ultimate defense against identity theft. Powered by Identity Force, the number one rated identity theft protection provider for consumers. With Ultimate ID Plus, there's daily three bureau credit monitoring. They've got your back 24-7, monitoring your credit across all three major bureaus. No surprises, just peace of mind. Score Tracker, stay on top of your credit score effortlessly. Fully managed restoration, if the worst happens, their team of experts steps in. Remediation and recovery services. Not just about prevention, it's about action. And dark web monitoring. Patrolling the shadowy corners of the internet. Safeguarding your personal information. Ultimate ID Plus isn't just a shield. It's your recovery advocate. Get ahead of identity thieves today. Remember, in Hercules Credit Union, your security is their priority. Ultimate ID Plus, because your peace of mind matters. Learn more at HerculesCU.com. Looking for a secure retirement plan without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show and call him now at 855 855- 355 safe for your complimentary customized safe money information kit and safe money book nothing but upside here at 855-355-SAFE you trust us for news and information in your car now trust us at home 
KSL News Radio has you covered, keeping you informed on the latest breaking news, weather, traffic, sports, and more. Listen on your Amazon Echo or Google Home device. Just say, Alexa, open KSL News Radio, or listen on the KSL News Radio Listen app. Text the word app to 57500. KSL News Radio, we have you covered. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Pepsi is reigning supreme at Subway. The Subway Sandwich Shop is uh, switching from Coca-Cola products after working with it for the last 15 years. They'll continue to serve Frito-Lay's products up until 2030. The snack is a subsidiary of Coke. Best Buy is planning to close 10 to 15 stores by 2025. The company says they're focusing on customer experience. Instead of keeping larger stores open, they're going to focus on keeping smaller stores stocked and staffed. Garden centers wondering where everyone went after a boom in sales during the pandemic. Spending on lawn and gardening activities rose to about $616 per household in 2022. That was an increase of 74 bucks from the prior year, but flattened out in 2023, according to the National Gardening Association. Well, we had a strong day on the markets yesterday. Right now, the Dow futures are off 16. That's less than a tenth. S&P futures up three. NASDAQ futures up 53. <laughs> Time this morning for Cougar Track, sponsored by Central Bank. Here's BYU insider Mitch Harper. BYU basketball arrived in Omaha, Nebraska yesterday evening as they get settled in for their first NCAA tournament appearance in three years. It's been well documented that BYU dropped a seed line because of its no Sunday policy, but landing at a six and drawing 11 seed Duquesne appears to be a favorable draw. That according to college basketball analytics guru Ken Pomeroy, was on the KSL Sports Zone. Well, I would say BYU was done a huge favor by uh, giving, being given that opponent. So Duquesne as an 11 seed is really a historically weak 11. I mean, they're weaker than some 12s and 13s in this bracket. So I, I know BYU got got moved down a seed line to, to make the bracket work for them and the schedule work for them. They deserved a five. They got a six. But they were done a huge favor in terms of who their opponent was. BYU versus Duquesne tips off tomorrow at 10.40 a.m. with extended pregame coverage tipping off at 9 right here on KSL. With Cougar Tracks from Omaha, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. I've always said you can make progress or you can make excuses, but you, but you cannot do both. So no more excuses. I know when it comes to weight loss, you have all kinds of excuses. I'm too busy. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start next week after the holiday. Excuses or progress, what do you want? When I decided I was sick of the excuses and ready to make progress on my health and wellness, I turned to Soto Weight Loss. S-O-T-A, it stands for state of the art because it is state of the art weight loss. You don't have to do it alone. You have someone who can help you every step of the way. Deal with your emotional eating challenges. Help you make sure you're getting the right fuel into your body so you have health, energy, and vitality. As I've said many times, I lost 37 pounds in under 90 days. I'm two years in and no more excuses, just results. When it comes to your soda weight loss journey, there's no time to lose, only time to win. Start winning today at Soda Weight Loss, S-O-T-A Weight Loss.com. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. 5174. Think about all the ways you use your phone. But are you getting KSL's breaking news updates? Filling up at the gas pump is getting more painful. Another officer involved shooting happened in Payson. Utah Highway Patrol says they made 64 DUI arrests. An update on that 12 year old busted for driving a car.
car on I-15. Get alerts, links to important story articles, and updates on severe weather and traffic. Text the word NEWS to 57500. That's the word NEWS to 57500. And stay connected to KSL News Radio. 559, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County still good on both I-80 and I-15. So uh, once you're on your free on the freeway, there's nothing that'll back you up. Getting to it's not so bad just yet. Although I am seeing traffic going south on Mountain View between uh, West Valley and West Jordan, running a little bit busier than I am seeing on the northbound side right now from West Jordan up towards 201. Heather, the delays continue to stack up, trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, and traffic is now backing up on the exit ramps from I-15, both northbound and southbound, trying to get off at 650 North in Clearfield. The other two gates, the South Gate and the Roy Gate, aren't as bad. A little bit of congestion, but no huge backups right now. And I-15 still at speed from Ogden to Salt Lake. Eric. It's a good drive running alongside the mountains if you're northbound on the 215 East Belt from 6200 South up to the mouth of Parley's Canyon. Going into the canyon, I-80 in good shape this morning going out to Park City. Find out more about how your kitchen or bath can be the kitchen or bath of your dreams in just three days. Just visit 3daykitchen.com. That's 3daykitchen.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Sunny in 68. The clouds start to roll in tomorrow making way for a storm coming on the weekend, but right now, just clear skies 43 degrees in salt lake city ksl fm midvale ksl salt lake city from the ksl common spirit health studios this is ksl news radio utah's news traffic and weather station Good morning. KSL News Time is 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Two bills to help fund a Major League Baseball stadium and a new NHL arena have officially been signed into law. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details. Adam? Amanda, the governor has signed off on raising the state's rental car tax and setting up a tax system for a new district around the state fair park, which could also eventually include a new MLB stadium if we get a team. Larry H. Miller Company is also pouring in billions to help transform that part of the West Side. Chief Corporate Affairs Officer Amanda Covington recently told me having the state's support only makes their case to Major League Baseball stronger. I don't know how more excited we could be to say that we are a ready market. We have checked the boxes and we want to show Major League Baseball that Utah is absolutely ready. The second law sets up funding for a new arena for the Utah Jazz and a potential NHL team via sales tax increase in Salt Lake City, though that increase still needs the approval of the Salt Lake City Council. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Japantown community leaders are working with Salt Lake City to make First South a place that preserves their history while at the same time supporting the potential downtown development of multiple sports stadiums. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson explains. During Tuesday's Redevelopment Agency meeting, a vision was unveiled for a walkway full of benches, art, trees, and monuments that honor Japanese culture. The project leader says that since a parking structure was erected there to support the Delta Center, Salt Palace, and future retail, Japantown leaders have been worried that they would just become an alleyway to other attractions. The new plan aims to support both parties' plans to support walkability, gathering spaces, and historical preservation. The funding has not yet been secured, but a preliminary Preliminary estimate says the project would cost upward of $7.5 million. The owners of a downtown Salt Lake City bar have given up their liquor license. The bar on the corner of 1st South and 6th West was first opened in 1991 as The Trap, later being renamed The Sun Trap. A plumbing problem caused a one-day shutdown back in January, but Q Salt Lake Magazine reports just 10 days after reopening, the bar closed its doors again and hasn't reopened since. Now Michelle Schmidt from Utah's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Services says the owner has surrendered the bar's liquor license. The bar's phone line has been disconnected and the owner could not be reached for comment. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. A federal appeals court late last night put a Texas immigration law back on hold just hours after the Supreme Court cleared the way for the state to begin enforcing the law. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest from Washington. The appeals court will hold a hearing today to determine what's next. Supporters of the law known as SB4 say something needs to be done to stop the influx of migrants crossing the border. The original law was signed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott last December and made illegally entering Texas a state crime subject to deportation. 
The Federal Reserve wraps up meetings today and announces what they'll do with interest rates. This two-day meeting of the Fed is expected to have a direct effect on the U.S. economy, especially borrowing costs and everything from car loans to credit cards to mortgages. Many analysts foresee policymakers keeping interest rates steady but still high amid evidence inflation is cooling off, albeit slowly. Also likely to happen, the Fed signaling what it will do long-term about interest rates, including rate cuts later this year. Analysts say that approach would boost the stock market as well as consumer confidence and the overall economy. Derek Dennis, ABC News. One of Utah's richest men is headed to court as his neighbors try to stop him from building an 11,000-square-foot home. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with that story. Peter? Tim, this is an appeal to Park City's February decision to allow billionaire Matthew Prince to tear down two homes and build his own 11,300-square-foot house. The Salt Lake Tribune reports that two neighbors are claiming the house plan is too big to meet local code, which they say is double the allowed height and lays a driveway across their land that they don't want. Some of the same complaints happen with other local homes in the area, though, which did end up getting built, according to the park record. Prince's lawyer tells the Tribune that this is a typical case of NIMBY, which means not in my backyard, but the case will go to a three-person appeals court soon. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. First look traffic now, and here's Andy Farnsworth. And right now, if you're on I-15, you've got a great drive going, whether you're starting out uh, north of Salt Lake in Ogden or up in uh, Brigham City or south of Salt Lake down in uh, Provo or over Point of the Mountain. Uh, it all looks great. In fact, uh, even the gates to Hill Air Force Base this morning, busiest one looks like the West Gate, but even that's not as bad as it gets some days. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The FBI is investigating after a man got onto a flight out of Salt Lake City without a ticket. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Police say Wycliffe Florizard was removed from a Delta flight headed for Austin, Texas after it was discovered he didn't have a ticket. Police documents show he had a boarding pass when passing through TSA, just not for the flight he got on. Florizard told police his friend gave him a buddy pass for a Southwest flight, but it was full, so he decided to hop on the other one. CBS reports there is security camera footage of him secretly using his phone to take pictures of other people's boarding passes to get on the plane. He first tried to hide in the bathroom, but when he got out, no seats are open for him to take. He's currently in police custody. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. The first games of the NCAA tournament were played last night, <clears throat> excuse me, with Colorado State and Wagner getting wins and advancing to the round of 64. We have two more first four games tonight with Grambling State facing Montana State and then Colorado taking on Boise State. Utah Utes played basketball late last night. I think it probably got over about midnight yeah. or something. <laughs> uh, but they did get a first round win in the NIT. The Utes knocked off UC Irvine and head coach Craig Smith says it feels good to hit the 20 win mark. So a lot of good efforts from a lot of people but I just thought we played really really hard. The Utes now host the Iowa Hawkeyes in the second round coming up this weekend. ESPN is going to be the home of the college football playoff into the next decade. The playoff organization reached an agreement giving ESPN exclusive rights to games through the 2031-32 season. The deal is worth $7.8 billion. They'll also start broadcasting the national championship on ABC in 2026. Almost $8 billion. In case you wondered why there's all of this mayhem yeah. with uh, conferences these days, that's why. Kansas City Chiefs head coach and former BYU player Andy Reid is getting some more love following the Chiefs' latest Super Bowl win. Reid's going to throw out the first pitch at the Kansas City Royal season opener against the Minnesota Twins next Thursday. He has now coached in Kansas City for more than a decade and has led the Chiefs to three Super Bowl wins. Coming up in just a moment, we'll get another look at your early morning commute. Re regular travel times throughout the Valley. Canyons all look good, but we'll check it. Traffic and weather together coming up next. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best just suitable. 
Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Any Hour Services free furnace sale is going on right now. If you haven't scheduled your free estimate yet, do it now. Call Any Hour Services today or schedule online at anyhourservices.com. I've had so many experiences, Debbie, working on my house. When I need some help, someone comes out, they give me a bid, and then when I actually get the invoice after the work is done, it's like the bid never happened. That won't happen with Master Electrical. Master Electrical has their upfront pricing guarantee. They show up, they look at the job that you need done around the house, they give you a bid, and that is the price you pay at the end of the job. They do everything. Anything that has to do with your electrical work, lights, ceiling fans, smoke detectors. I just learned that you're supposed to replace your smoke detector every 10 years. That's brand new knowledge. Give Master Electrical a call. They are proudly serving from Logan to Santa Quinn, and they're always open, including for emergency services. Yeah, give them a call, 801-543-2222. That's 801-543-2222. Or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. Well, those two bills that would fund uh, Major League Baseball and an NHL stadium and arena are now law in Utah. The governor signed off on them yesterday, so we're one step closer uh, to getting Major League Baseball in Salt Lake City. 6.09, time for a look at traffic and weather together. We do it every 10 minutes on the 9s. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We go back to Andy Farnsworth. Well, it's a good start if you're traveling through the Salt Lake Valley on I-15 in either direction. Approaching it a little bit heavy on 7200 South in Midvale. Uh, traffic's filling in just a bit on uh, SR201 at the uh, Magna intersections, but moving pretty well for the most part out of Tooele, whether you're on I-80 or 21st South. Heather? The delays are improving a little bit at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, but they're starting to get bigger at the south gate in Layton. No problems, though, if you're sticking with I-15 US-89 Legacy Parkway in Weber and Davis counties. All direction are traveling at speed right now, but traffic is definitely filling in on those roads. Eric? Heading out to the mountains, I-80 looking good so far this morning. We have a little bit of slow movement once again on the eastbound side, struggling to go up the hill to uh, Parley Summit. Probably just some slow-moving semis. I-15 Utah County, northbound, southbound. That's looking good. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. High pressure gaining more ground today. That'll push temperatures to 68 by afternoon sunny skies. That's a solid 11 above the normal. Overnight, dipping off to 44, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, 67, partly cloudy, and a slight chance for a mountain shower and in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Still 43 degrees downtown. Is your car tattling on you to your insurance company? I hate this. (laughs) More on this when we talk to Matt Gephardt just ahead on KSL. (laughs) I don't want to be tattled on. Uh, you remember to uh, look us up streaming anytime at kslnewsradio.com, but you'll also find us on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Are you tired of yo-yo dieting? Are you thinking about trying the latest fad prescription drug with their long list of possible serious side effects? Most people don't realize that while you may lose weight, it's just temporarily suppressing your hunger so as soon as you get off the drug, your frustration and your weight could come right back to haunt you. At slcfatloss.com, we know the secret to quick weight loss and most importantly, safe and lasting weight loss. Our program has helped over 40,000 clients across the country break the weight loss code. Gone are the starvation diet plans. Our program is Healthy Weight Loss, using real whole foods and proprietary strategies to help guide our clients through their successful weight loss with a roadmap to keep the weight off long term. This is Maria Shaleos. If you are done being exhausted with the same old stubborn weight problem, Salt Lake City Fat Loss is the answer. Their plan melts the fat quickly. I've lost more than 23 pounds in six weeks. Call 801-450-1882 to schedule your free consultation or go to slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. 
Missouri. Jeff Kaplan. When I was a kid, my parents got me a subscription to Newsweek magazine. I would devour every page into the night. And to this day, I sit on my iPad looking for stories for my minute of news, flesh out our coverage, and I get to share the news with you. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, 3 to 7 on KSL News Radio. At Progressive, we know money can't buy you happiness, but money did help you buy an RV which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable co-worker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! KSL News Time 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah's governor has signed off on two bills to help fund a new Major League Baseball stadium and a new arena for the Utah Jazz and a potential NHL team in Salt Lake City. On KSL News Radio's Adam Smoltz. Second, the number of marriages in the nation has returned to pre pandemic levels. Third, a look at traffic and weather together. Right now, I-15, traffic looks great, whether you're starting out in Davis County or Utah County and uh, going in either direction. I do see some more traffic starting to creep in at uh, Bangor Highway and on Mountain View, but everywhere else is pretty quiet. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spring fever in full force again today, but changes for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a look now at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Back on hold, a Texas law that would have allowed local law enforcement to arrest, detain, and possibly deport migrants suspected of being in the country illegally. ABC's Terry Moran is at the U.S. Supreme Court, which on Tuesday allowed the Texas law to move forward. The appeals court decision coming just before midnight restores the status quo in Texas. SB4, as it's known, is not the law in Texas right now, and the state cannot enforce it. The decision came just eight and a half hours after the Supreme Court's conservative majority gave a green light to Texas. In a 6-3 order, the court dismissed the Biden administration's argument that the federal government has authority over immigration and that the law should be kept on hold while it's being challenged. The appeals court will hold a hearing today on what the next steps should be. More warnings about the threat of famine in Gaza. ABC's Matt Gutman with more from Israel. 70% of the entire Gaza Strip's population is experiencing catastrophic hunger. The UN says 300,000 in the north might be in famine conditions right now and a U.N. official telling me they need a tsunami of aid now. Experts also warning that violence in Haiti is pushing people to extreme hunger there. In the U.K., there are now reports that someone tried to access Kate Middleton's medical records. The U.K.'s data watchdog agency takes such breaches very seriously and is investigating a report that at least one staff member at the London Clinic may have tried to access Kate's private health information. Police here are standing by to establish a probe as well if that's deemed to be required. As for the private hospital, no comment. A Kensington Palace spokesperson has declined to confirm or deny the reports. Tom Rivers, ABC News, London. The Fed expected to keep interest rates steady at the conclusion of today's March meeting. Friday's mega millions drawing up to at least 977 million after nobody matched last night. You're listening to ABC News. Let's go in depth now. Many new cars connect to the Internet uh, to access mapping features and allow people to remotely start their vehicles. But they also could be providing a lot of information about how you drive to your insurance company. KSL TV's Matt Gephardt has more. About a year ago, the KSL investigators went under the hood of some connected cars to see what kind of information they were gathering on us. University of Utah professor Sean Lawson told us that consumers are sacrificing privacy for convenience. It comes with a lot of risks in terms of the data that's collected. Now, one of those risks is coming into focus. New reporting from the New York Times shows it could also be costing you money. The paper found that some Internet-connected vehicles are sharing our driving habits with our insurance companies. 
That news on top of other reasons on which we've recently reported that insurance rates for cars are spiking. Trisha Madsen of St. George says she could not believe it when she opened the latest invoice from her car insurance company and found her rates had about doubled. Kind of why I'm reaching out is because I don't want this to happen to a lot of people. Well, it is happening to a lot of folks with average insurance rates up more than 20 percent. There are lots of factors at play, including cars being more expensive to taking longer to fix, as well as just more drivers on the road post-pandemic. But knowing that our smart cars are telling insurance companies about our driving habits could also be a factor. Insurance companies do advertise things that you can actually plug into your car and track your driving habits on purpose. You would, of course, know about those. But if you drive a connected car, you may be sharing without your explicit knowledge. You worry about that, don't you? Well, there's a couple of uh, other things you need to think about. I I hope you keep good records if you use your car for business. Oh, right, right. Because, you know, you're supposed to keep a log on where you go and what those miles are Mm -hmm. every day. This will do that, and the IRS could actually subpoena that or ask for that if you were being audited so that they could say, well, on this day you said you went and did that, but you actually went to the grocery store. So (laughs) can you get access to that log? Is it like something that keeps the record for you so it would produce a document for you? Well, there are apps that actually do Do that. that. There are people that use that, and it certainly is easier than what I used to do with a little book in the uh, glove box, you know. I don't drive enough for business now that it's it's. You know, relevant, but yeah, I remember either. doing that way back when. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why it bothers me, but <laughs> I guess that genie's out of the bottle, yeah, right? I think Both so. with your, they can use your cell phone for mm-hmm. that, let alone the device they may have under the dash. Uh, great story, and our thanks to KSL TV's Matt Gaphart there on the in depth at 15 and 45. 619, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, it looks great on I-15 and 215 throughout the Salt Lake Valley. Bangor's beginning to slow a little bit at 3500 Southwest Valley, but Mountain View still rolling along uh, from West Jordan all the way to the 21st South Freeway. Heather? Traffic is starting to fill in. Southbound I-15, the heaviest traffic right now I'm seeing is between Clearfield and Farmington, but everybody's still at freeway speed, so you're under 30 minutes to get from Ogden to Salt Lake. Traffic continues to be a bit busy at all three gates of Hill Air Force Base, but the Clearfield gate, the west gate, is the busiest that has a bit of backup still on Main Street. Eric. Foothill Drive this early going up towards the University of Utah, not seeing any problems. If you're over on the 215 eastbound and heading up to Foothill, that's also in good shape for northbounders. We do have a couple of slow-moving vehicles once again eastbound uh, heading up the hill to uh, Parley Summit if you're on I-80 going through the mountains this morning and I-15 in Utah County. That still looks good. The Serta Mattress sale is happening now at Two Brothers Mattress. Get a Queen Serta Mattress for $379. That's a Serta for $379. Visit one of their five stores or twobrothersmattress.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast. It starts out perfect. 68 degrees today. Sunny skies. 67 tomorrow. Partly cloudy, but a chance for a shower in central Utah. 67 partly cloudy again for your Friday. We'll go 64 with a cold front Saturday day bringing in rain. And Sunday, chance for showers 51 colder. 49 mostly cloudy skies on Monday. Back at it with a couple of showers on Tuesday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees downtown, and your seven-day forecast is brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Yep, it's March Madness, and we have two more play-in games. Let's see, tonight we've got Grambling versus Montana State, Colorado versus Boise State. The big game for us, of course, Thursday morning, Utah's, I'm sorry, BYU's first game in the NCAA tournament is against du- Duquesne. Yeah, right. And that's uh, a what, 10-20 tip-off? 10-40. I'm sorry, 10-40 tip-off. Yeah, but uh, we'll have pregame for you because it doesn't make any sense to try and squeeze in 20 minutes or 30 minutes of a Dave and Dujanovic. We're just going to go full bore with you right after the news at the top of the 9 o'clock hour. So pregame starts at 9.05. Plus, we'll have those bracket updates, which are always so much fun. Like every 15 minutes, we'll let you know. So if you're catching up on news, you'll also know who's winning today. I love basketball in the middle of the day. Yeah, and by the way, yesterday, you don't have to know anything about Wagner as far as a program goes, but they've got their first NCAA win last oh, night. Oh, man. And those are the stories that make yeah. March Madness so much fun. I so love that. congratulations to Wagner. They move on, and now they get the privilege of playing the number one seed. Good luck. 622 is our news time. 
Common Spirit Health has expert orthopedic care that gets you back at it and back to your best. Find skilled orthopedic physicians at Common Spirit locations who specialize in general orthopedics and repair of hips, knees, shoulders, and hands, so you can return to running races or chasing the grandkids. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Orthopedic care with human kindness is here. Visit mountain.commonspirit.org. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Pepsi is reigning supreme at Subway. The sandwich shop is ditching Coca-Cola products. After working with Coke for the last 15 years, Subway will continue to serve Frito-Lay's products up until 2030. The snack is a subsidiary of Coke. Look at this. The national average credit score has fallen for the first time in a decade. I would think a lot of this has to do dovetail with the stories we've been talking about with uh, record credit card debt. Oh, it has to be. If you're carrying that much debt, Mm -hmm. your FICO score is going to go down. FICO says the new average score is 717. That's still pretty good. Uh, The report from FICO also says Americans are struggling to pay their bills on time and the savings that cushion them is gone. Which connects to our spending that we just... You know, inflation, it's hard to have inflation go down when we just won't stop spending. Yeah, unfortunately, some people are not spending frivolously. They're spending and using their card for necessities yes. like groceries and gas. But when I look at people's closets and I see, you know, I think, man, we're, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Amanda, what are you doing uh, going through people's closets? And well, how, I, how many people do you do that with? You know, I, I was just reading a story about the difference in the size of American closets from closets in other countries oh, and from closets here yeah. back in the 70s and 80s. We just can't stop buying stuff. I have, we live, uh, Becky and I, in a home that was built 27 years ago yeah. before the walk in closet. Uh-huh. She has closet envy every time she goes to somebody yeah, else's oh, yeah. house because they just didn't make them that big back oh, then. Oh, no, they didn't because we didn't need that, that much. Stuff. You could live in those things. Caitlin Clark's record breaking accomplishments have more people watching women's basketball. Betters have also taken an interest using some of their discretionary money on Clark and the Hawkeyes, the top seed in the Al- Albany Regional 2 of the NCAA tournament. Caesars Sportsbook reported the number of bets on women's college games this season compared to a year ago was 190% higher, with 153% more money wagered. Well, look at this. I saw this last night and presented it to the newsroom staff this morning. TickPick, which is an online ticket broker, has sold six times as many tickets to the women's Final Four compared to the men's Final Four already. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, I love what she's doing, and other players like her are doing for for women's basketball. Yeah, great stuff. All right, uh, futures markets this morning, down a little bit after a record day yesterday. The Dow is off but just 45 points. That's a tenth. The S&P is down less than two, and the Nasdaq squeaking out about a 29-point gain. We don't have any serious delays in your morning commute. Just a little bit of congestion mountain view at 54th South, but everything looks pretty good. We'll check traffic and weather coming up next. The Utah RV Palooza is back and packed with new and used RVs to fit every budget. March 21st through the 24th, come to the only free RV show in the area at the Mountain America Expo Center. Shop travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, motorhomes, truck campers, and more. You'll find monthly payments starting under one forty nine per month on approved credit for select new RVs, like a new 2024 GoPlay 19BH travel trailer. You'll 
You'll also find huge savings on used motorhomes. We've got select 2023 and 2024 low mileage models from Thor and Jayco heavily discounted. The best deals don't last, so start shopping now at utahrvpalooza.com and make sure to tour the full lineup of GoPlay travel trailers, one of the fastest growing RV brands in Utah. Get special financing options like zero payments until June OAC, as well as clearance pricing on all remaining new 2023s. And unlike other shows, free admission. Don't miss the Utah RV Palooza. Four days only, Thursday, March 21st through Sunday, March 24th at the Mountain America Expo Center. See you there. Stock number L75171. Based on 20% down, 8.99% APR for 180 months. Subject to prior sale. See dealer for details. The big surprise in the Big 12. Dallin Hall to Spencer Johnson for three. Let's go! B. Speak for everybody in the program. We say that we're just blessed to even be in this tournament. Love you, Cougs. Let's go. Thursday, the Cougars face off against the Duquesne Dukes in round one of the NCAA tournament. Special extended pregame starts at 9 with tip off at 1040 on Utah's legacy home of the Cougars. KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 629. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Well, it hasn't been too bad so far this morning through the Salt Lake Valley. Closest thing to a delay is uh, Bangor heavy at uh, 50, uh, 47th south. And we've got some uh, heavier traffic on the 21st south freeway now coming from Magna towards West Valley. But I-15, 20 minutes. Point of the mountain to downtown, as good as it gets. Heather? The biggest delays we have in Weber and Davis County is actually on city streets. And it's Main Street and 650 North in Clearfield trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. But that's the only congestion I'm seeing on any city streets. And all the freeways, I-84, US-89, Legacy Parkway, and I-15, they're all at speed right now. Eric. Getting over to the freeway, no big problem so far in Utah County at the north end of the county. Eagle Mountain, Saratoga Springs drivers finding it a good going over on Pioneer Crossing and 2100 North on northbound Redwood Road. No trouble there. Uh, we do have some northbound congestion over on University Avenue in Provo at some of the stoplights from 300 South heading up towards 800 North on the BYU campus. 915 looks great in Utah County so far this morning. The Easter Bunny is coming to Jordan Landing Shopping Center. Bring the family March 23rd through the 30th to visit the Easter Bunny. Professional photos for purchase. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. This is going to be a beautiful spring day. Today, sunshine and a high of 68, a lot like yesterday. Uh, tomorrow, a few more clouds move in, 67. The same for Friday. We have rain coming for the weekend. I'm sorry if you had outdoor plans this weekend. Saturday looks like we're going to get rain. It'll stay around 64, but Sunday, we drop. The temperature goes down to 51. We might even see uh, snow in the mountains on Sunday. And then, well, some of that rain will linger. I guess the first of next week will stay right around 50 degrees. Right now, downtown, 44 degrees. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 6:30. KSL's top story this hour. Police aren't saying yet why they chased down a motorhome in Kearns in a pursuit that led to a three-car crash. KS on his radio's Peter Johnston is live with the latest. Peter? Amanda, let's start with what police have revealed so far. So Unified Police Sergeant Amy Ray says officers identified a motorhome as suspicious around 1 p.m. yesterday, and they approached it. That's when the driver made a getaway. That vehicle backed into the officer's vehicle and then took off. Police stayed on the tail of the RV from about 54th South and Bangor until 41st South and Bangor. The vehicle attempted to turn eastbound and crashed into a van, which then rolled over on its side. Now, Sergeant Race did not disclose yesterday why they thought the motorhome was suspicious, but I have placed a call to Unify Police this morning, and I'm waiting to hear back from one of their public information officers about it. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning. For now, reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Police are still trying to figure out all the details that led to a fight outside of a funeral home that uh, led to multiple people being stabbed. KSL TV's Lauren Steinbrecher is following that story. Salt Lake City police say a fight led to a stabbing outside the Neil O'Donnell funeral home near 300 East, 100 South. They believe everyone involved was attending a funeral. Police say a vehicle took off and thanks to witnesses, police found it downtown. Six people, uh, police uh, say that six people ended up in the hospital. 
Utah's Great Salt Lake Commissioner is hopeful about how much the lake could rise from this year's spring runoff now that we have a healthy snowpack. KSL News Radio's Adam Small has more. Not even a year and a half ago, the lake hit its lowest level in recorded history, but now the lake is more than five feet higher, and we still have an above average snowpack set to come down in the coming weeks. Great Salt Lake Commissioner Brian Steed tells KSL at night this is great news, but that doesn't mean the problem is going away. I think that it's something we're going to have to be worried about. Uh, really for the rest of our lifetimes here because we have this we have this problem. We have lots more people coming here, so we have increasing demands on water, and we have a relative flat line on the amount of water that we have here. Steed says conservation and secondary water metering is going to be crucial in the coming years. Adam Small, KSL News Radio. KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says our snowpack that feeds the Great Salt Lake is looking good. We've got more storms headed in starting this weekend and rolling through next week. So we'll likely keep those elevated snowpack numbers up until snowmelt season starts in April. Listen to this. He says right now our snowpack, 126% of normal. Wow. How much longer will you be able to hit the slopes this year? KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington has the details on the expected closing dates for Utah ski resorts. Looks like Beaver Mountain, Cherry Peak, Eagle Point, Powder Mountain, and Sundance Resorts are all closing the earliest on April 7th. Alta and Deer Valley will stay in operation until April 21st. You can ski at Park City until April 22nd and at Snow Basin until April 28th. Brian Head will be open clear into May, closing on the 5th. Solitude will close on May 12th. Brighton and Snowbird haven't announced closing dates yet. Emma Keddington, KSL News Radio. Spring means flowers, showers, and unfortunately, allergies. KSL News Radio's Claire Scott has some tips on how to avoid dry, itchy eyes. The University of Utah Health says they see a rise in patients sniffling and sneezing with swollen red eyes during spring. So here's some tips to keep that from happening to you. The first one is for contact users. Try using your glasses more. Pollen can stick to your contacts and cause irritation. Avoid keeping windows open too long or using window fans because that can bring the pollen from outside in inside. Keeping dust already inside at a minimum can also make a big difference. U Health says extreme eye dryness can cause permanent damage. KSL's top national stories this hour. Former President Donald Trump declared victory in the latest round of presidential primaries. ABC's Lionel Moise has more. Last night's results, not all good news for Trump. He won Ohio's presidential primary, but exit polls show there is still a significant percentage of Republicans unwilling to support him in the general election. Both Trump and Biden now trying to court voters by focusing on the issues. And he's here with your first look traffic. Haven't had any problems on the freeway yet to slow anybody down. That's good news. Going into the canyons, they're all open and dry. And uh, so far, our city streets, they're going to be busier more consistently, but... We're not seeing any kind of delay or extra travel time so far in Salt Lake, Davis, or Utah counties. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The GOP-led House impeachment inquiry into President Biden continues today. ABC News national correspondent Stephen Portnoy has more. The House Oversight Committee will hear from Tony Bobulinski and Jason Galanis, two former associates of Hunter Biden, who plan to testify about how they saw the then vice president helping his son in his work. It's a charge the White House has strongly denied. Democrats on the committee have called Lev Parnas, a former associate of Rudy Giuliani, who is expected to speak of GOP efforts to dig up dirt on the Bidens in Ukraine. The president's son, Hunter Biden, will not be taking part in today's hearing. Plans for a Weber County inland port have been pushed back. KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson reports the holdup is centered around wetlands in the area. It's a delicate balance to try and develop some of the wetlands of the Great Salt Lake. Many have expressed environmental concerns, and that's why they're taking this extra time to reevaluate the plans. They feel confident that they will get it right. Executive Director for the Utah Inland Port Authority, Ben Hart, says the port will actually be a value add for the area. Some of those funds will actually go back to the protection of the uh, wetlands and the Great Salt Lake itself in the area. The approval was supposed to happen next week, but now they will wait until May. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. Breast cancer patients might soon have an innovative and minimally invasive new treatment option. The research will be presented in Salt Lake City today. Dr. Yolanda Bryce of the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center uses a technique to freeze and kill cancer cells. With that probe, generates very cold temperature and creates an ice ball that encompasses the tumor and destroys the tumor cell. The technique can be repeated if the cancer cells reappear. Other research will be presented on prostate cancer. 
cancer treatments. Looks like I-15 holding steady as traffic volume starts to increase a little bit out there. We'll get to the peak of the commute here in the next hour. Stay with us. We'll get traffic and weather together next. BYU to Cage. Jackson Robinson will pull and fire and score from three again. Special extended free game starts Thursday morning at 9 on Utah's legacy home of the Cougars. KSL News Radio. Amco presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that Amco's fixed over 40 million transmissions and that Amco offers a nationwide warranty. Check out Amco's multiple financing options so you can fix it fast and pay it off slow. That's Amco, double A, MCO. Can an insurance bot ever really understand your needs? Do you think I'd benefit from bundling my auto and home coverage? Searching for homes with car dealerships nearby. Sure, robots listen, but do they understand you? At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you save money and time by bundling your auto and home insurance. Find an agent at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. When you want a brand new kitchen, there's nothing to it. There's a brand new way to do it. Three day kitchen and bath. It's all about time. Three days or less. At Three Day Kitchen and Bath. Do you love your house and hate the thought of assisted living? Whether you're caring for a loved one in your home right now or planning to live independently in the years ahead, call Three Day Kitchen and Bath. They can completely remodel your old bathroom in just three days and back up their work with a 100% satisfaction guarantee on both their quality and craftsmanship. If all you need is a new walk-in tub or easy entry shower to make your life easier, they could do just that for you. Avoid the hassle and stress of remodeling. Check them out on the web at 3daykitchen.com or call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath for your free design consultation today. 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. It's about time. It's about time. Three days or less. At 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. One of the stories we're following this morning is this crazy pursuit of a motorhome in Kearns, right down Bangor Highway, yeah. wasn't it? You don't often see a high-speed chase with a motorhome. No, uh, but it all started when uh, police pulled over the motorhome yeah. and then it ended up trying to get away and backed into the police vehicle. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, we're trying to find out more details this morning, and Peter Johnston is on the hunt for those details. 639 now, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Man, we're getting a report of a crash on Mountain View Corridor over uh, in in the up on the Harriman bench, kind of near Academy Parkway, uh, though I haven't seen it in the camera, that area yet. I-15 is still great uh, from Point of the Mountain to downtown, and uh, Bangor beginning to get a little bit heavy through Taylorsville, though, for northbound traffic. Heather? Things are still sailing along. If you're southbound I-15 from Ogden to Salt Lake, that's less than 30 minutes, although you'll see some heavier pockets of traffic now between Clearfield and Kaysville. No delays yet on US-89, Legacy Parkway, or the West Side Belt. City streets are starting to fill in, and we've already been very congested at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Foothill Drive getting a little bit more active. Uh, we've got some slowing from Sunnyside up to Mario Capecchi if you're northbound getting close to the university. I-80 through the mountains, no problems there, and US-40 along the Wasatch Pack running at a normal pace from Heber up to Park City. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura MDX. All-wheel drive and safety never looked so good. Leases at five eighty nine dollars monthly. Details text Acura to 57500. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Look for a high of 68 today. Sunny skies, absolutely perfect spring weather. Overnight, we'll go to 44, clear skies. Partly cloudy tomorrow, 67, with a slight chance for a shower in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Waking up this morning to 45 degrees downtown. We'll hear from the Fed today about interest rates. I don't think anybody expects them to lower interest rates today. Still hoping for this year, right? Yeah, because they're saying uh, we have sticky inflation yeah. that is kind of having them pumping the brakes right now. We'll talk to Caleb Silver about it just ahead on KSL News Radio. Right now, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, and it's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox.
Kate, 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 all I read about is the future Queen of England and her Photoshop skills. It's not enough that we're obsessed about her, but now we're apparently embracing another British sport. As you bet on your brackets, embrace for March Madness, the game of cricket is quietly slinking into the U.S. Now you're like, what? Cri Kate, what? I'm singing a night, but I buy him, but I'm this is the official song of last year's Cricket World Cup. It's basically baseball with two home plates and an oval field. The pitcher, known as a bowler, bounces the ball on purpose, and the bat is a paddle kind of like what they used to whack school kids on the bum back in the olden times. The rest of it is like watching baseball if you did it while taking drugs. Innings go forever. Teams score like 100 runs. A treat for you here, the greatest catch in cricket history. Oh, it's in the air. Marinelli's there. Has he taken it? Yes, he has! Brilliant catch! No gloves! All you probably know about cricket is the term sticky wicket, which metaphorically means a difficult situation, but literally a sticky wicket means wet and troublesome field conditions, which you might learn about because the U.S. now has Major League Cricket, six teams nationwide at the games. Fans are polite, they don't get rowdy. Their big move is to give a player the silent treatment. There are cricket stadiums to be built in New York, Washington, Illinois, with more to come. I just mentioned this because we're in the arena building business these days, in Utah, we could always spend another half billion and slap up a cricket park, or we could ask Kate to Photoshop us a cricket stadium and use the money for more pickleball courts. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you? The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Attention Wasatch Front businesses and property managers. Have winter conditions damaged your parking lot, asphalt, or concrete surfaces? Call Go Pave Utah and get on their schedule. GoPaveUtah.com. KSL News Time 645. <laughs> The three things you need to know this hour. First, Park City residents are challenging the city council's approval of a proposed 11,300 square foot home by one of the richest people in Utah. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, police are still trying to figure out all the details that led to a fight outside a funeral home that then led to multiple people being stabbed. Third, it's traffic and weather together. It's been a quiet drive on the freeway so far, still crash free, delay free, whether you're heading north or south. Uh, or even into the canyons on I-80 or coming from Tooele County. Only crash reported right now. Supposed to be down on Mountain View Corridor in Harriman. I haven't seen it on the cameras yet. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular springtime 60s for the next couple of days. Then rain over the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. A controversial law that would allow law enforcement in Texas to arrest migrants suspected of being in the country illegally is back on hold. The Supreme Court had let it go forward. An appeals court then stepped in just before midnight and halted it. There is an appeals court hearing today on what the next steps should and could be. The House impeachment inquiry holding a public hearing today. ABC National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy. The House Oversight Committee will hear from Tony Bobolinsky and Jason Galanis, two former associates of Hunter Biden, who plan to testify about how they saw the then vice president helping his son in his work. It's a charge the White House has strongly denied. Democrats on the committee have called Lev Parnas, a former associate of Rudy Giuliani, who's expected to speak of GOP efforts to dig up dirt on the Bidens in Ukraine. Reports in British media that someone may have been attempting to snoop around and gain access to the Princess of Wales medical records while Kate was in the hospital for abdominal surgery back in January. This is ABC News.
Well, the Federal Reserve will meet today to decide the future of interest rates. Editor-in-Chief of Investopedia, Caleb Silver, joins us live. What do we, you don't expect him to move today, do you, Caleb? No, there will be no move on interest rates today. The Fed's been very clear about that. The, the lowering of interest rates looks like maybe it's a June event or potentially at the July meeting. Why? Because in, inflation is still sticky high. Clocked in around 3.2% last week. Still very high for food costs shelter costs and, and and energy costs are rising too if you look at gas prices and electricity prices I'm, I'm sure there's more than one answer to this but why why the stickiness why are we struggling with it still because uh, higher prices usually we get higher prices and consumers have gotten used to them and also we've seen this increase in wage prices over the last year and a half which is nice to see wages are up over four percent so in order to pay higher wages companies raise their prices and pass it on to consumers and hopefully consumers don't break in terms of spending and they haven't so far even though credit card debt is at a record high and these high interest rates are as high as they've been since the great financial crisis and they've been this way since last july those really hurt us when it comes to the interest expenses we pay on things like credit card debt or even mortgages so do we need to stop spending so much in order for inflation to come down well, if we do, we're just going to slow GDP down, which could tip us into a recession. So we're in this weird cycle here where you've got to keep spending in order to keep the economy growing. And the economy is growing at around a 3.3 percent annual clip as of, as of the last quarter. And there's plenty of jobs out there and wages are increasing. That's why the Fed is in no hurry here to, to lower interest rates. The economy seems to be OK right now, even though it would like to see inflation closer to that 2 percent target. I don't know if we're ever going to get there. We've had this big increase in prices over the last few years. It's hard to see them coming down. We're not going to see deflation, but maybe a stabilization, a normalization of prices would be nice. I remember uh, Larry Summers, who was a top economic advisor to President Obama, had uh, real problems with the infrastructure bill, the $1.7 trillion. Last time we looked, not much of that had been spent. Are you worried that when that money starts to go into the system, it will just cause more problems? It's not the type of money like helicopter money that we saw during the pandemic when we were in the middle of the pandemic and the government sent out $7 trillion to households. This is infrastructure money that should provide jobs. It has some tax credits in there. It should be stimulative to the economy. I know there's a lot of economists like Larry Summers that have issues with it, but when the government spends on infrastructure and on building, that's usually a good sign uh, in terms of jobs, in terms of job creation and GDP. So I'm not too concerned about that. What we want to keep a close eye on is whether or not consumers can hold on here if rates don't go lower until July, what's going to happen to the housing market, which has been in a deep freeze for the past year and a half. We need the housing market to kick in for us to get some more economic growth. And then are we going to see broader layoffs? We're starting to see them around tech, obviously, and the media industry. Is that going to spread throughout the economy a little bit? We'll have to keep a close eye on that. So if prices don't go back down, if this is the new normal, will we just stop complaining about it after we get used to it? Or how long? <laughs> or will we always complain about it? So household wealth uh, compared to GDP is actually really high right now because people that own their homes and have money in the stock market are doing great. Home values are really high right now, and the stock market's near an all-time high. But that is not everybody. So these uh, high prices and inflation and these interest inflation that we've been seeing, that hurts lower-income folks the most, and that's where we're going to start to see issues. Yeah, and it's why it's a big issue uh, going into this presidential election cycle for sure. Uh, all right, you Caleb. Bet. Thanks for your help, Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver on the In-Depth this morning at 15 and 45. Time for that look at the drive, which has been a good one so far. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here's Andy. First areas where traffic is starting to bog down on I-15, 106 South, 53rd South, 33rd South. If you're driving past any of these exits, you may be in some heavy traffic at the moment. The rest of the way from Point of the Mountain to Salt Lake, though, rolling along. Bangor are beginning to see some extra delay uh, between 35th and 21st South. If you're coming across Magna, eastbound 21st South freeway, just heavy from 8400 West to 7200 West. Heather? It's about the same in Weburn Davis County. Your heaviest traffic right now, southbound I-15. As you go past Clearfield, Layton, and Kaysville exits, but we haven't seen any delays. You're still less than 30 minutes between Ogden and Salt Lake. You also have a good commute in the mountains on I-84 through Weber Canyon to and from Morgan. City streets are the ones that are filling in and seeing a little bit of congestion, especially if you're in Ogden and Clearfield and around the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Again, a little bit thicker on Redwood Road in Saratoga Springs, just south of Pioneer Crossing and Mountain View Corridor traffic. A little bit heavier now 
one northbound from SR 73 heading up towards Redwood Road. Uh, once you go past Redwood, 2100 north for eastbounders looks okay getting over to the freeway and the and I-15 does look great across Utah County right now. Need a perfect event venue? There's a place. This is the place. Heritage Park, ideal for weddings, events featuring 11 venues, beautiful grounds, and affordability for any celebration. Call or visit thisistheplace.org. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starting out with some flawless spring weather. 68 today, sunny skies. Tomorrow, a couple of more clouds, 67. Again, with a chance for a shower in central Utah. Friday, partly cloudy, 67. We go 64 with a chance for rain as a cold front plows through Saturday afternoon. Sunday, colder, 51. Chance for rain, mostly cloudy, 49. Monday and into Tuesday, we go 50 degrees with another chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. KSL News Time, 652. You know, it's time to think about getting your air conditioner tuned up and ready to go. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> I love I love spring. <laughs> I do too. I always have superior water and air come out to the house and take a look at it because, well, I learned this the hard way 20 some years ago when I just thought I just never tuned up anything. I never had my furnace looked at or my air conditioner. I just never did. And then I had a major problem because I ignored it. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, if you do a little maintenance, just like you do oil changes on your car, you do a little maintenance on these big pieces of equipment, they'll last a lot longer. Well, I've been pretty transparent about the fact that we replaced two furnaces, two air conditioners in our house not that long That's ago. That's painful. If you go through that process, you will learn to maintain it on a regular basis because it's going to save you money. And when it comes time for that maintenance to be done, you want to have somebody that comes into your home you can trust that's not going to come in and say, yeah, we came just to do a little tune-up, but look what we found, and that's going to cost you another 1000 bucks." Yeah, right, or 10000 Or $10,000. Right. So this is the, the Superior Water and Air. They're the people we trust for everything from plumbing to water heaters to water softeners to home standby generators and, yes, to air conditioning tune-ups. Trust is an important word. Here's the number, 801-974-9090, or go to superiorwaterandair.com. Join Mike Stevens of Capital Wealth Advisors for Retire Right Radio, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. That's Retire Right Radio with Mike Stevens, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. The best campfire stories happen when the sun goes down. And the best savings happen at General RV during the RV Show After Party Sale, March 20th through the 23rd. RV shows are over. But you can still get a low RV show price, and that'll save you thousands. Plus, come in to see how you can camp on us this summer. Start your next campfire story with how much you saved. Only at General RV. In Draper, off I-15. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The Biden administration has reached an agreement to provide Intel with up to $8.5 billion in funding and $11 billion in loans for computer chip plants in Arizona, Ohio, New Mexico, and Oregon. It's all part of that CHIPS Act meant to create incentives to create semiconductors in the U.S. That feels like a national security issue to me. I mean, to oh, produce sure. those here so China can't deny us access to that needed technology. Yeah, 100%. JetBlue is dropping several cities, including Kansas City, Bogota, Colombia, Quito, Ecuador, and Lima, Peru. They are also ending flights between New Orleans and Salt Lake City. They've lost more than $2 billion since 2019. And I don't know why that hasn't been a bigger story. If, yeah. if any business is losing $2 billion over the last couple of years. I wonder what's going on there. Uh, yeah, how do you stay in business? Billionaire Sagar Adani is building a renewable energy park in India. Listen to this. It's five times the size of Paris and visible, they tell us, from space. It's a $20 billion project that will be the world's biggest renewable energy plant when it's finished in about five years. And it's going to generate enough power for 16 million homes. I wonder if it'll be, you know, like a... Something, a template for the world to to mimic what they're doing there. Hmm. Let's get a look at your money at this moment. The Dow futures down 67. That's less than two tenths. S&P off five. That's a tenth. NASDAQ futures up 17th, and that's a tenth percent. Northbound traffic in Salt Lake County seeing some reduced speeds now on I-15. Bangator, Mountain View Corridor. We'll check it all next. 
You know, Deb, we've had some crazy weather lately, some big winds. Obviously, we're always dealing with snowstorms in the winter, but it's got me thinking about a standby generator. You need to call Master Electrical. Not only for bad weather, but think about grandma and grandpa, and they're on a medical device. They need electricity at all times. That's why you need a standby generator. Yeah, this is where the blackouts really can become, quite frankly, dangerous. I've got an electric vehicle. What if that's your only vehicle? Now you can't get anywhere if you've lost electricity. That's why the standby generator is so crucial. Master Electrical's generator department is the premier dealer for Generac. Of course they sell these, but they also handle the service and installation. They have different financing that fits almost any budget. With any new purchase and installation, Dave and Dugenovic listeners are going to receive two years of free maintenance and fleet service. That's where Master Electrical is going to monitor your generator. They're going to run weekly tests, and they're going to make sure you don't have any service alerts. Find out more at masterelectrical.com. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. 5174. KSL offers the best daily newsletter in the state. It's the three things you need to know. Every weekday, we deliver quality and relevant content to your inbox. No ads, no spam, just the three things you need to know to be informed about the world around you. Subscribe today. Visit kslnewsradio.com or text the word inbox to 57500. That's inbox to 57500. 659 Traffic and Weather brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy? Amanda, traffic filling in on I-15, up approaching 106th, and then after 33rd South, a little bit heavy, but it looks like you stay at the speed limit even in that stretch. Where you will come to a stop is some extra waiting northbound Bangor near 4700 South and 3500 South, more so at 3500 South this morning, at least so far. 201, actually back to the full speed limit as you cross Magna and West Valley. Heather? Most of the congestion I'm seeing in Weber and Davis County are on city streets, including 5600 South and Roy, Main Street and Clearfield trying to get toward Hill Air Force Base at the West Gate, and on Harrison Boulevard and Ogden. Your freeways, I-15, US-89, Legacy, they're all still traveling at speed right now. Eric. Got uh, some extra congestion now and slowdowns on Mount View Corridor if you're uh, approaching Redwood Road uh, in the uh, north part of Utah County. And once you get onto 2100 North and head over to the freeway, and no big problems there. And that's same uh, for all of the other feeders in Utah County over to I-15. Uh, Geneva Road a little bit busy uh, if you're at the 800 North intersection this morning out in the Vineyard area between Vineyard and Orem. But otherwise, the city streets also looking pretty solid down south. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale, starting at just $39 a foot. Visit BedrockQuartz.com. That's BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Sunny today, 68 degrees, 67 for the next couple, and then uh, rain for the weekend. Right now it's 45 in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story on the 7 o'clock report. It is breaking news on KSL. We've had several texters telling us there's a large police and firefighter response happening right now in American Fork, not too far 
from 300 Eastern Main Street. We do have a reporter on the way, but police have not yet confirmed exactly what happened. We do have some video sent to us from the scene showing a house with some walls knocked down and smoke coming from the roof. We also have people in the neighborhood texting us, telling us they heard a large boom. As soon as we get official confirmation as to what's going on, we will break in. Stay with us for that uh, coverage. In other news, Utah's governor has officially signed off on the bills to help fund two professional sports stadiums in Salt Lake City. KSL News Radio's Adam Small has the details. Adam? The first bill raises the state's rental car tax and sets up taxes in a new district around the state fair park where they could end up building a new Major League Baseball stadium if we get a team. Larry H. Miller Company is also investing $3.5 billion to transform that part of the west side. Chief Corporate Affairs Officer Amanda Covington recently told me having the state support does help their case. We wouldn't have this vision or have been working as hard as we have or putting the public private you know, legislation in place or this private investment if we weren't confident that this was the very best market for an expansion team. The second bill would raise Salt Lake City's sales tax by half a percent, which would help fund a new home for the Utah Jazz and a potential NHL franchise, though that tax still needs to be approved by the Salt Lake City Council. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Salt Lake City's redevelopment agency is laying out its vision for Japantown as the city tries to balance cultural preservation and downtown development. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. The West Quarter project is already underway with a parking structure on First South, also known as Japantown Street. It's part of the downtown master plan to support the Salt Palace, Delta Center, and future retail options. But leaders from the Japantown community have asked the board to not make them into a forgotten alley. Senior project manager Corinne Piazza says they're pursuing a shared vision of celebrating Japantown on that street with a streamlined walkway and some added features. These are your benches and bollards that may have great design to them, history and storytelling elements that talk about this historical importance of the area and art elements as well. Funding has not yet been secured for the estimated $7.5 million project. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. A long-standing bar in Salt Lake City may be closing its doors. In January, a plumbing problem forced the Sun Trap to close for a day. According to Q Salt Lake Magazine, the bar closed down again just 10 days after reopening. It seems that closure may be permanent. The Sun Trap surrendered their alcohol license. Michelle Schmidt from Utah's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Services says that liquor license will be made available to another business at their next meeting. The Sun Trap would have to go through the application process all over again if they want to get it back. The phone line for the Sun Trap has been disconnected and the bar's social media accounts haven't been updated since mid-January. The bar's owner could not be reached for comment. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour, a federal appears, appeals court late last night put a Texas immigration law back on hold just hours after the Supreme Court cleared the way for the state to begin enforcing the law. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest now from Washington. The appeals court will hold a hearing today to determine what's next. Supporters of the law known as SB4 say something needs to be done to stop the influx of migrants crossing the border. The original law was signed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott last December and made illegally entering Texas a state crime subject to deportation. The Federal Reserve will announce today if they'll adjust interest rates. ABC's Daria Albinger has more. Fed Chair Jerome Powell told Congress earlier this month the central bank still expects to cut interest rates later this year, but he says they need more proof that inflation is nearing its 2% target rate. So far, it hasn't seen enough, so the Fed is expected to adjourn its latest meeting with the decision to leave interest rates alone. The interest rates impact from car loans to credit cards to mortgages. Also developing brand new this hour, the Prime Minister of Ireland says he's going to step down as the country's leader as soon as a successor can be chosen. He says the reasons to leave are both personal and political. He was the country's youngest ever leader when first elected, as well as Ireland's first openly gay prime minister. The Harriman City Council is going to crack down on illegal parking. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson reports. The fines go from $25 to $100 with a maximum of $200 if warranted based on repeated violations, according to a Facebook post from the city after the council voted the increase. A comment on X, formerly known as Twitter, from the city clarifies that parking on a public street in a restricted area near a fire hydrant, a no parking zone, during a snowstorm or in front of a driveway access will now result in a minimum of a $100 fine. This does not apply to private roadways or parking lots. They say the mayor says $25 fine was not enough to detour people from parking illegally at Black Ridge Reservoir. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. 
First look traffic on the 7 o'clock report. How are we doing, Andy? Delays are increasing on Bangor at 3500 South. We're seeing some heavy traffic on I-15 in South Salt Lake, approaching I-80. Utah County, the freeway is fine, but it's pretty heavy along uh, 2100 North and uh, Pioneer Crossing near Redwood Road. Davis County, really good shape on I-15, but a little bit of heavy traffic, I-84 going into Weber Canyon. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Some people in Park City are trying to stop an extra large house from being built by one of the richest people in the state. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with details. Peter? Amanda, the would be neighbors of this proposed 11,300 square foot home are appealing a planning commission decision to let billionaire Matthew Prince build it in the Old Town neighborhood. According to the Salt Lake Tribune, the plaintiffs say Prince's house would almost double the allowed height of buildings at 53 and a half feet tall. It would cover sensitive areas and it would lay a driveway across part of a neighbor's property without their consent. On the other hand, Prince's lawyer calls this a typical NIMBY case, meaning not in my backyard. Other houses in the area also did not meet all size codes, but were still built, according to the park record. Prince now owns the park record. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. The Cache County clerk is resigning after a controversial term. His office was investigated by Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson after finding evidence of election fraud. David Benson announced his resignation after he certified the Democratic primary election results on Monday. An election for his seat will be held coming up in November. The FBI is looking into how a man got onto a flight out of Salt Lake City without a ticket. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Wycliffe Florizard tells police he had a buddy ticket for a Southwest flight to Austin, Texas, but it was full, so he decided to hop on the Delta flight. There is security camera footage of him taking secret photos of other passengers' boarding passes, and police believe he used those to get on the plane. CBS reports he originally tried to hide in the bathroom, but when he got out and no seats were left, the crew knew something was wrong. TSA says he had a boarding pass that matched his ID. The FBI and local police are investigating. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. A South Korean tanker capsized off an island in southwestern Japan today, killing at least seven people. The ship was completely capsized by the time rescuers arrived at the scene. The World Health Organization and the CDC say it's possible that a fungus, not a virus, may be the next contagion to take the world by surprise. Stop Valley Fever is caused by a fungus that lives in the dirt in the deserts of the southwest. Dr. John Galgiani is director of the University of Arizona's Valley Fever Center. He says an infection can develop when someone inhales the spores into their lungs. That can happen whether you're out dirt biking or doing things, uh, kicking up a lot of dust, or in fact just living in the area where this fungus lives. Health professionals are already working to develop potential treatments. It sounds like that show, The Last of Us. I didn't That's, see it. That's, oh, scary. <laughs> the uh, annual ranking of the world's happiest people shows that Americans are getting more frustrated. Finland has the world's happiest people for the seventh year in a row, according to the World Happiness Report. For the first time in the 12-year history of the poll, the U.S. is out of the top 20, falling to 23rd. That's because of a major gap in opinion between older and younger Americans. Those over 60 have the U.S. as the 10th happiest country in the world. But looking at people under the age of 30, the U.S. ranks 62nd. Wow. ABC's Brian Clark says the rankings are based on how people evaluate their lives over the past three years. All right, let's see if we can improve your outlook on life right now, make you happier today with a better traffic flow. Uh, traffic and weather together brought to you by St. Clair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. What we're looking at in Sandy, uh, Andy, Sandy, Andy, looks like uh, good freeway speed. Yeah, it's not bad. And we've got some heavy traffic a little further north on the line up closer to South Salt Lake. Uh, but the only backup I'm seeing right now in the valley is Bangor Highway just before 3500 South. Even Mountain View this morning is moving just uh fairly typical without any extra wait time. Heather? Antelope Drive's getting pretty busy right now, and most of that is heading eastbound away from the industrial park area over toward I-15. You also have some of that same congestion on 5600 South and Roy trying to get to I-15. Once you're on the freeway, though, you're still at good speed southbound. You might start seeing a few brake lights in the next 10 or 15 minutes through the Kaysville area and again as you approach downtown Salt Lake. 
Eric. It's a steady pace in Utah County from uh, Santa Quinn up to Thanksgiving Point. You're not going to run into any congestion spots so far, uh, but volume is increasing. Uh, we do have some slowing on Mountain View Corridor for eastbounders right as you approach the Redwood Road intersection and then further up the line as you try to get onto the freeway. Redwood itself, though, looks good this morning coming out of Saratoga Springs and heading up to the Porter Rockwell intersection. Revere Health encourages you to schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast, 7 a.m. clear skies. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s, light and variable winds. Hey, for the lunch hour, plenty of sunshine already to 60 degrees. By afternoon, minimal wind, very nice, topping out at 68 degrees. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Little glow now up over the Wasatch Mountains to start the morning and 43 degrees. Some good news this morning, the number of marriages back up in the United States to pre-pandemic levels. We'll tell you more about that just ahead. Well, the first games of the NCAA tournament ended last night with Colorado State and Wagner getting wins and advancing to the first round. We have two more first four games, as they call them tonight. Grambling State faces Montana State, and then Colorado will take on Boise State. The Utah Utes men's basketball team got a win late last night in the first round of the NIT, knocking UC Irvine out of the tournament. Utes head coach, uh, coach Craig Smith says it feels good to hit the 20-win mark. So a lot of good efforts from a lot of people, but I just thought we played really, really hard. The Utes now host the Iowa Hawkeyes in the second round over the weekend. This is too bad. The opening day Dodgers debut for Shohei Otani was almost delayed by a bomb threat. The game uh, being held in Seoul, South Korea, and officials say they received an email threatening to hurt Otani as they played the Padres. 50 extra police officers have been called in to keep a close eye on the stadium. Kansas City Chiefs head coach and former BYU player Andy Reid is getting some more love following the Chiefs' latest Super Bowl win. Reid will throw out the first pitch at the Kansas City Royals season opener against the Minnesota Twins next thir- That's next Thursday already. Yeah. Wow. Reid has now coached in Kansas City for more than a decade and has led the Chiefs to three Super Bowl wins. Look at this number. ESPN going to be the home of college football playoff for the next several years. The two reached an agreement giving ESPN exclusive rights to CFP games through the 2031-2032 season. The deal worth almost $8 billion. Wow. Uh, they'll start uh, broadcasting the national championship on ABC in 2026. Astronomers are saying an asteroid could collide with Earth in about 160 years. The asteroid known as Bennu will pass between the moon and the Earth, and it has about a 1 in 2,000 chance of making impact. Dante Loretta is a professor at the University of Arizona. It's important to understand this hazard in general and what we might be able to do when an asteroid ultimately is going to collide with the Earth because it's happened many times before throughout geologic history. The asteroid is the size of the Empire State Building. Wow. Oh, all right. Uh, we've got more breaking news now at 713. I think we're going to go to Randall. He's in the news center. Yeah, Tim and Amanda, we're monitoring this breaking news out of American Fork. We do have our Adam Small on the scene. He has confirmed after speaking with police, it appears that a home has exploded this morning. Exactly why, we're not sure. A lot of people texted in this morning saying they felt some booms in the neighborhood. Uh, we'll have Adam live here at the bottom of the hour as he ga- gathers more details, and we'll bring those to you as soon as we can. Reporting live, Randall Jepson, KSL News Radio. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, TGI Fridays is offering a consolation prize for college basketball fans with losing NCAA tournament brackets. This year, they're giving away six free boneless wings. However, you do have to buy something to get the freebie Mm -hmm. and show off your busted bracket. The giveaway runs through April 8th. So basically, you're telling me they're offering it to everybody. Everyone, right, right. (laughs) An overturned semi-truck wreaked havoc on a Mississippi highway after thousands of bees were released from the trailer. Beekeepers had to round them up uh, as they uh, swarmed the truck. The driver was taking them to a honey farm, I guess, nearby. KSL News Time, 715. The three things you need to know this hour. First, as you just heard, we uh, are checking on a breaking story out of uh, Lehigh, where a home reportedly 
blew up this morning. Lots of firefighters and police on the scene. We'll get live details coming up. We're also trying to ascertain, second, what happened with that motorhome chase yesterday on Bangor Highway. Police chased the motorhome and it eventually crashed. Third is traffic and weather together. I-15, traffic uh, moving at the full speed limit in Utah and Salt Lake County so far on the northbound side. Ogden to Salt Lake, still a 30-minute travel time, which is as good as it gets. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spring fever in full force again today, but changes for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories this hour. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. A federal appeals court again preventing Texas from arresting and deporting migrants accused of entering the U.S. illegally. That just after the Supreme Court had allowed that Texas law to go forward. ABC's Terry Moran has more. Texas's controversial immigration law is back on hold, capping an extraordinary day of legal whiplash. Overnight, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit issuing an order that once again blocks that law from going into effect. The law would allow local authorities in the state to arrest people they suspect of entering the U.S. illegally and even to deport them regardless of federal law. Later today, that appeals court will hear oral arguments on what should happen next. The U.N. reporting that 70 percent of the entire population of the Gaza Strip is experiencing catastrophic hunger right now and that a tsunami of aid is needed immediately. That as plans continue, meantime, for a full-scale assault of Rafah in Gaza South, ABC's Matt Gutman is in Israel. Israel's prime minister doubling down, telling lawmakers here that there is no alternative. A senior Israeli official telling me that Israel believes the last five intact Hamas battalions, plus its leader, are holed up in Rafah. One reason he sees no world in which Israel does not go ahead with this offensive, despite what the president says. Prime Minister Netanyahu to address Republican U.S. senators today via video. British officials looking into the possibility that someone tried to access the Princess of Wales' medical records when she was at a health clinic for surgery in January. The clinic is not commenting on these claims directly, uh, but the UK's data protection watchdog confirmed to ABC News that it's investigating a data breach. And Kensington Palace told ABC this is a matter for the London Clinic. That's ABC's Maggie Rooley in London. President Biden announcing $8.5 billion in grants for the tech company Intel to fund projects to manufacture semiconductor chips here in the United States. You're listening to ABC News. Some other stories that we're following for you this morning. The number of marriages in the U.S. has returned to pre-pandemic levels with over 2 million marriages for the first time since 2019. From 2021 to 2022, the national marriage rate rose significantly, reaching 6.2 marriages per 1,000 people in the nation, according to data from the CDC. Utah was in the top five states for highest marriage rates with a rate of nearly 10 marriages per 1,000 people. While the marriage rate increased, the number and rate of divorces decreased in 2020. 22 to only just over two divorces per thousand people following the trend of decreasing divorces over the last 20 years. Alessandra Gurr, KSL News Radio. Sandy police are asking drivers to slow down after an officer clocked someone going 81 miles an hour in a 40 mile per hour zone. The driver's reasoning was that they were going to be late for work. Mm. Police in Houston say a trio of very young robbery suspects are in custody after trying to stick up a Wells Fargo bank. The FBI dubbing the 11, 12, and 16-year-old suspects the Little Rascals. Investigators say the boys, believed to be armed at the time, passed a threatening note to a teller. Two of their parents turned them in after seeing their pictures in the media. The third suspect was tracked down by police. Experts say older criminals are convincing kids to help them commit crimes, expecting the juvenile charges won't be as severe. So they're enticing these little kids, mm. 11 and 12 years old, to go do the dirty work. Uh, if they get away with it, you just, know. Just like with, with drug dealers. That's crazy. That want kids to be their runners and so on. And then imagine being mom and dad and saying, oh. that looks like Jimmy mm. on TV right there. Mm. Uh, ABC's Andrew Dimbert says the FBI says they won't be releasing more information about the suspects because they're so young. 719 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. 
Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County beginning to slow a little bit right before the Bangor Highway exit. Uh, but then the rest of the drive through Salt Lake County is fine. It's a mountain view that's now starting to slow in West Valley at 3500 South as Bangor begins to improve at 3500 South. Heather? We're still looking pretty good through Weber and Davis County. Traffic pretty heavy now southbound as you come out of Clearfield through the Layton area. And there is a crash southbound 15 just after the exit to Hillfield Road. But all the vehicles are over on the right shoulder. But that's slowing cars down. Down just a little bit as they go past. No problems if you transition to Legacy Parkway or the West Side Belt if you need to get to the airport. And city streets are still getting pretty busy, especially around school zones. Eric. Getting into Park City is a little bit slow in the usual spot this time of the morning. Westbound Kearns Boulevard from uh, US 40 over into town. If you're exiting I-80 at Kimball Junction, goes south to Park City that way on 224. No troubles there. I-80 through the mountains does look good. We get a little bit of stoplight congestion. Now northbound Foothill Drive heading up towards the University of Utah. Down Utah County, I-15 still a strong commute. Don't let tax problems ruin your life. Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox handle the IRS so you don't have to. Visit TaxHelpUT.com That's TaxHelpUT.com Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast it starts out perfect. 68 degrees today. Sunny skies. 67 tomorrow. Partly cloudy but a chance for a shower in central Utah. 67, partly cloudy again for your Friday. We'll go 64 with a cold front Saturday day, bringing in rain. And Sunday, chance for showers, 51 colder. 49, mostly cloudy skies on Monday. Back at it with a couple of showers on Tuesday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees downtown. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We just had a text. Anyone know what's going on in American Fork? Multiple fire, fire engines deployed. A home exploded. And you just showed me video from KSL TV's photographer down there. Holy cow. Yeah, you can see debris boards that are actually on the ground. Uh, probably, I don't know, uh, not quite 100 yards, 30 yards maybe yeah. away from the house. And lots of uh, firefighters. There are plenty of smoke still coming out as well. Our first report of this actually came about 636 this morning from a texter who said, House blew up. Uh, American Fork by the old Burger King. Lots of cops, fire, smoky haze. Uh, anyway. And it turns out they're right. It did. It, there was an explosion. Yeah, it, it sounds like that's exactly what happened. Our Adam Small is there. Randall telling us, uh, Randall Jepson informing us that we'll check in with him coming up in less than 10 minutes. So we'll have a live report. By the way, if you ever want breaking news like this sent directly to your phone, just sign up for our text service. It's you, All you have to do is text the word news just by itself, N-E-W-S to 57500 and then we'll let you know straight to your phone whenever there's breaking news here on KSL News Radio. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. One of Salt Lake City's newest areas is the Maven District, a curated block of locally owned businesses working to create a community of walkable shops, eateries, and offices that believe in diverse communities, self-growth, and dreaming big. Founder Tessa Arneson joins us with more. Maven District is the proud home of Salt Lake City's largest community of women-owned small businesses. With over 100 locally owned shops, food, offices, and wellness services, our neighborhood is located on the corner of 900 South and 200 East. We recently opened Maven Lofts, a collection of one-bedroom affordable apartments with seven micro retail spaces and a restaurant space with a rooftop garden. The part of the project I'm most excited about is our boutique hotel, which offers a perfect spot for worker play. Overall, our goal is to make our city cooler and easier to tackle your dreams in. A few of the ways we are doing this is by lowering the barrier of entry to start your business with easy leases for small spaces to promote diversity among our businesses and by creating a friendly, walkable neighborhood for all. And don't forget to come visit our fitness studio, Maven Strong, or our co-working space, Maven Create, with promo code FREE DAY. Learn more at mavendistrict.com. From townhomes to co-working spaces to ice cream and jewelry shops, you never know what you might find in Salt Lake City's new neighborhood, the Maven District. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. If you're trying to decide which gutter protection to put on your home, don't just ask how they'll handle leaves. Ask how they'll handle ice. Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors, and that's right, ice. See, plenty of gutter guards are good at keeping out leaves, but most are made with flimsy materials that can bend, buckle, and break under the weight of too much ice. Kind of a big problem. 
in an icy state like Utah, right? At RGS Exteriors, our exclusive gutter protection systems are built Utah tough. They're made with premium strength materials that hold up to 1,200 pounds of ice per square foot. Simply put, they're not going to budge. Our gutter guards are also certified to handle hurricane level winds and rain. Mother Nature can't damage them, guaranteed. Utah Tough Products, that's the RGS way. For a free estimate, call 801-280-3110 or visit rgsexteriors.com. That's rgsexteriors.com or 801-280-3110. Let's talk about gas price whiplash. Right now, gas price is 50 cents more than they were last month, but it's still down from this time last year. We'll walk you through the top two reasons why gas prices are going up. Today on Dave and Duchanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. McDonald's is opening a second location of their spinoff restaurant, Cosmics. It's in Dallas, Texas. The first location in Chicago saw massive success with lines hours long and more traffic in a day than an average McDonald's makes in its first month. Holy oh, cow. Wow. That's the that's the like it's like a coffee shop and a and a dirty soda shop, right? I don't know. I'm gonna go double check that. Check check that for us. Uh Best Buy planning to close ten to fifteen stores by twenty twenty five. The company says they're focusing on customer experience. Instead of keeping larger stores open, they'll, uh, they're going to focus on uh, keeping smaller stores stocked and staffed. Yeah, Cosmics is out of this world um, treats and drinks. So it's lattes, ice latte. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, some of the other coffee shops, I guess. Mm. Garden centers are wondering where everyone went after a boom in sales during the pandemic. Spending on lawn and gardening activities rose to about $616 per household in 2022. That was an increase of $74 year over year. But then it flattened out in 2023, according to the National Gardening Association. Yeah, it makes sense because we were all spending more time at home and, you know. Not doing, much to do. Doing some improvements in the backyard. Yeah. The uh, futures markets just ahead of the bell are mixed and uh, just very narrow trading after a record day yesterday, at least for the S&P. The Dow giving back about 56 points. The S&P is down four. The NASDAQ is up this hour by 26. We have slowing back northbound I-15 between Bluffdale and Bangor. We'll check that and the rest of your commute just ahead. You love the feel behind the wheel. You'll love the new 2024 Acura MDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 MDX only $589 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. You'll love the new 2024 Acura RDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 RDX Super Handling All-Wheel Drive only $459 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. Utah's Hollywood connection hits the mark. Quiet on the set. An economic blockbuster. Action! Friday, Dave and Debbie and KSL's movie show focus in on one of the state's fastest growing industries, Hollywood in Utah. That's a wrap. When it's finally Friday on KSL News Radio. Hey, speaking of the movie show, it's going to be brought to you by Sound Sleep Medical this week. Get a free sleep screening and a free sleep consultation by tuning in on Friday morning. Uh, Sound Sleep Medical with seven locations in Utah. 729, let's check the drive here. Brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app, where you can save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy Farnsworth is back in the traffic center. And traffic getting busier between Point of the Mountain and Bangor Highway, plus again from 33rd South to I-80. It's uh, traffic backing up on the 201 freeway at 7200 West. That's all so far. Uh, but 5400 South, pretty busy crossing Taylorsville, trying to get between 3200 West and Redwood Road right now. Heather? We've got several emergency vehicles on the scene of a crash southbound I-15 near Hillfield Road, and that is really starting to slow people down as they took a look at the flashing lights. Uh, but that's the only slowdown I see on I-15 right now between Ogden and Salt Lake, so that's only adding a minute to your commute. You also have a good drive on US-89 and Legacy Parkway, and city streets still continue to fill in with 
with the west gate at Hill Air Force Base and Clearfield being the worst. Eric. Along the 215 East Belt, no problems heading north from 6200 South past Holiday, Mill Creek, all the way up to Foothill Drive, which does have some congestion at the stoplights as you head up towards the University of Utah. Down in Utah County, I-15 looks fine. We do have some congestion northbound Redwood Road now as you approach the 2100 North intersection and Mountain View Corridor approaching that same intersection. That's a little bit slow, too. The Easter Bunny is coming to Jordan Landing Shopping Center. Bring the family March 23rd through the 30th to visit the Easter Money professional photos for purchase. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Boy, is today going to be beautiful or what? A high of 68, lots of sun, and tomorrow 67, the same on Friday. Right now it's 45 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 7:30. KSL's top story this hour. It is breaking news in American Fork this hour, where a house is on fire, and neighbors tell us they heard a big boom. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live in American Fork, gathering information. Adam. Well, Amanda, we know that this is confirmed now by police that this is an, a home explosion. It was a duplex. There are 20, 25 total police and fire vehicles, just on an estimate that I can gather, completely lining Main Street and blocking off this little section of homes off of 330 East. Uh, there's still a, a smoke rising in the air, creating a haze over American Fork. You can see it on the towards if you look out towards the base of the mountains right now. So we know that this was a duplex that exploded. Yep. Maybe we've lost. Uh, we'll try and reconnect uh, with Adam coming up. But we're looking at some of the video that was shot, Amanda, by uh, KSL TV's photographer that is also on the ground. When you look at that garage door, it's obvious that it was blown from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And the siding that goes around that uh, garage door actually was blown completely off and as well. And it's still smoking heavily. Yeah. Uh, we'll try and uh, reconnect with Adam, see if we can get a better signal for you coming up in a few minutes. Police are trying to figure out why a driver in a motor home led them on a chase that ended in multiple crashes on the Bangor Highway. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with that story. Peter? Uh, Tim, we'll start with what we know. This was a motorhome with two people inside. The Unified Police identified as sus suspicious yesterday at around 1 p.m. And after they made their approach to talk to that vehicle, that vehicle backed into the officer's vehicle and then took off. Unified Police Sergeant Amy Ray says the motorhome led officers on a chase from 54th South and Bangor to 4100 South and Bangor, where it ended up stuck on a median. No one was injured, but three cars did crash during this pursuit. So we still don't know why the police thought this RV was suspicious or why the driver and passenger tried so hard to get away. I have followed up with the Unified Police Department, and I plan to hear back from them in about a half hour. For now, reporting live, Peter Johnston. KSL News Radio. Salt Lake Police are still trying to sort out all the details after multiple people were stabbed outside a funeral home yesterday afternoon during a fight. Salt Lake Police Officer Brent Weisberg says it was a chaotic scene. Inside that car, there were a total of three people. Um, of the three people, two people have minor injuries and they have been taken to area hospitals. The third person from that car has been detained for questioning by our detectives. Police say a total of six people were sent to the hospital. Our snowpack's looking pretty good right now and could help and should help the Great Salt Lake. KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says while we had a slow start at the beginning of the year, our snowpack levels are looking good. By January 3rd, we were still sitting at 67% of normal on our snowpack. Fast forward 76 days, though, to yesterday, we were at 126% of normal. Matt says the current storm outlook should also keep our levels in good shape. If you're looking forward to some spring skiing, you are in luck. KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington has the details on what resorts are staying open for some blue sky ski conditions. According to KSL Weather's Kevin Eubank, we still have a few weeks of good spring skiing left. Beaver Mountain, Cherry Peak, Eagle Point, Powder Mountain, and Sundance Resorts will close April 7th. Both Alta and Deer Valley are going to close April 21st, and Park City will close the day after on April 22nd. You can ski at Snow Basin until April 28th. Brian Head will stay open until May 5th, and Solitude plans to stay open all the way until May 12th. Brighton and Snowbirds still don't have a final closing date. 
of course, this all could change if we get more snow. And McKeddington, KSL News Radio. Welcome to springtime in Utah. Coming with it, of course, seasonal allergies and itchy, dry eyes. Every year, right around springtime, the number of patients showing up to the University of Utah Health with swollen, itchy, and red eyes increases. U Health says there are some things that you can do to keep that from being you. One tip is taking care of the area around your eyes, so taking off makeup, wearing sunglasses, or eye protection. Another tip is if you experience any irritation, use something cold or wet instead of rubbing your eyes. And here's a big one. The amount of pollen floating around is highest right around early evening, so if you can avoid being outside for too long at this time, you'll have less pollen exposure. Claire Scott, KSL News Radio. First look traffic now, and here's Andy Farnsworth. Things are looking good across the Wasatch Front. Traffic filling in I-15, both directions trying to get into Salt Lake with a bit of slowing through Draper and Sandy and southbound in Layton due to a crash. Heather Kelly in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL's top national stories this hour. It was a win for former President Donald Trump last night in Ohio's Senate primary. Trump-backed candidate Bernie Moreno, a Colombian-born former car dealer, declaring victory in a three-way race seen as a battle against the state's Republican Party establishment. The people say, well, yeah, but he said that you were tied to Trump. Well, let me just say something. I wear with honor my endorsement of President, from President Trump. I wear that with a badge of honor. Moreno will take on Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown in November, a race crucial for Republicans' hopes of taking control of the Senate. Plans for a Weber County Inland Port were set to be presented for approval this month, but they are now on hold. Utah Inland Port Authority Executive Director Ben Hart says they want to take extra time to make sure the project will be done correctly because of the wetlands in the area. This is an important ecosystem that we need to protect. Critics have spoken out about the port affecting the environment. New cancer treatment options are being discussed here in Salt Lake City today. The Society of Interventional Radiology will present new research for minimally invasive and innovative treatments for breast cancer, prostate cancer, and postpartum maternal hemorrhaging. Dr. Yolanda Bryce of the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center says her research should reduce the need for breast cancer surgery. Would have actually been offered a mastectomy and not just a lumpectomy. Dr. Bryce says her technique uses cryoblation probes that freeze and destroy cancerous tumor cells. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. We have a southbound crash on I-15 in Davis County at the Hill Field exit, causing some delays. We'll check that and the rest of your commute just ahead. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. You know, Deb, we've had some crazy weather lately, some big winds. Obviously, we're always dealing with snowstorms in the winter, but it's got me thinking about a standby generator. You need to call Master Electrical. Not only for bad weather, but think about Grandma and Grandpa, and they're on a medical device. They need electricity at all times. That's why you need a standby generator. Yeah, this is where the blackouts really can become, quite frankly, dangerous. I've got an electric vehicle. What if that's your only vehicle? Now you can't get anywhere if you've lost electricity. That's why the standby generator is so crucial. Master Electrical's generator department is the premier dealer for Generac. Of course they sell these, but they also handle the service and installation. They have different financing that fits almost any budget. With any new purchase and installation, Dave and Dujanovic listeners are going to receive two years of free maintenance and fleet service. That's where Master Electrical is going to monitor your generator. They're going to run weekly tests, and they're going to make sure you don't have any service alerts. Find out more at masterelectrical.com. Utah's largest sportsman's expo for the entire family is back Thursday through Sunday at Mountain America Expo Center. Bring the family and discover your next adventure. Buy the latest gear. Find the best destinations. Get expert advice at free seminars and activities. Free entry for youth 15 and under. Your life outdoors at the International Sportsman's Expo, Thursday through Sunday at Mountain America Expo Center in Sandy. More info at sportsexpos.com. It's complicated. These days, that's how people even describe their relationship status. When it comes to the latest complexities in your car, it's gotten really complicated. The experts at Amco undergo the most rigorous training to stay on top of the latest car technologies, so there's nothing we can't fix. Well, except for that complicated relationship. When it comes to that, you're on your own. Double A, MCL. Check engine light on, we'll check it for free. 
739, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Delays getting worse on 201. Now out in Magna and West Valley, we're starting to see I-15 slow down, scattering through the whole valley again, especially between Point of the Mountain and Draper, but also pretty heavy from 53rd South up to 33rd South. Bangor delays are now around 4,700 South. Mountain View backups are at 3,500 South. Heather? Traffic's pretty slow right now. Southbound I-15 between Antelope Drive and Hillfield Road in Layton. That is due to a crash. All the vehicles are over on the right shoulder near Hillfield Road, but everybody's having to leave the right lane uh, open so that crews have room to work safely. Other than that, you're going to have a good drive on the rest of the major freeways throughout Weber and Davis counties with traffic continuing to fill in on the city streets. Eric. The biggest spot of slowing in Utah County on the freeway is between Timpanogos Highway for your northbound heading up to the county line. No other spots of, of major delays any place of from Santa Quinn up to most of Lehigh. If you're getting over to I-15, you've got your usual slowdowns on Pioneer Crossing 2100 north heading east from Redwood Road over to the freeway. Redwood itself getting slow heading up towards the 2100 north intersection. UDOT construction alert planned for delays on westbound I-215 this weekend as the road between 280 East and I-15 will be closed for bridge maintenance. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Look for a high of 68 today. Sunny skies, absolutely perfect spring weather. Overnight, we'll go to 44, clear skies. Partly cloudy tomorrow, 67, with a slight chance for a shower in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Warmed up a little bit. 45 degrees now downtown. A home in American Fork exploded this morning. You can probably see the smoke still if you're down in that area. We're going to talk to a former KSL photojournalist, Steve Landine. He lives right by there. Oh, wow. We'll talk to him coming up next on KSL. Right now, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, and it's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. In a world where the dollar store charges a buck and a quarter, where the dollar menu costs more than a dollar, you have every right to complain about inflation, as do the rich. Though they might not go to McDonald's, the rich pay more for food, and the filthy rich are also grappling with inflation. For instance, if you want a taco, you hit the bell, you grab a Crunchwrap Supreme. But if you're a billionaire, you might opt for a private jet to Cabo where you can enjoy the $25,000 Grand Velas Taco. It's made with Kobe beef, beluga caviar, and black truffle brie. It's served on a corn tortilla infused with gold flake. The exotic salsa is made from dried Morita chili peppers, ultra premium tequila, and exclusive civet coffee beans. After you lick the gold flakes off your teeth, you can order another. Proud that you just enjoyed the most expensive entree on earth but not for long. Set to shatter the record is a dish prepared by Michelin star chef Rasmus Monk. But it's not what he whips up, it's where. This meal will be served to space tourists aboard a gigantic balloon. Would you like to ride in my Balloon will set sail beyond the stratosphere next year. It's going to carry eight passengers so high when they look out the window, they're going to see the entire state of Florida. And then, when the sun rises over the curvature of the earth, dinner is served. The menu hasn't even been decided, but for the privilege of enjoying the most expensive meal in the world, each person aboard will pay $495,000. In essence, half a million. Or you can skip the trip and pick up 90,000 Crunch Wrap Supremes. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. IRS harassing you? The law offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit taxhelput.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, It's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, Then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. 
Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. KSL News Time, 745. The three things you need to know this hour. First, we are live this morning on the scene of a house explosion in American Fork. I'm KSL News Radio's Randall Jepson. Second, plans for Weber County Inland Port have been slowed down while they work through ways to protect wetlands. Third, it's a check of the drive with traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic is still slow over Point of the Mountain and through Murray. The southbound drive's got a stretch of Layton that's got some backups, but it clears up after you pass the mall. And then if you're on the 21st South Freeway, Magna, not as bad as yesterday, but it is pretty slow. Magna and West Valley. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular springtime 60s for the next couple of days, then rain over the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. A federal appeals court has once again prevented Texas from arresting and deporting migrants accused of entering the country illegally. The Supreme Court had let the law go forward. Overnight, though, an appeals court put it on hold once again. As a new U.N. assessment claims 70 percent of civilians in Gaza are experiencing catastrophic hunger. The Israeli ground offensive in Rafah is being planned. ABC's Matt Gutman in Israel has more on what's next in Gaza's southernmost city. Secretary of State Blinken is headed here to Jerusalem. On Friday, Israel is sending a very high-level delegation to Washington to hear an alternative approach aimed at protecting the 1.5 million Palestinians sheltering in Rafah right now. The private clinic in London, where the Princess of Wales went for abdominal surgery back in January, is now looking into reports that someone tried to breach security to get a look at Kate Middleton's medical records. New rankings from the American Kennel Club show the French Bulldog is still the most popular breed in the country. This is ABC News. I guess it was a little after 6.30 this morning. We started getting uh, some reports and some text about uh, and a house explosion and then caught fire in American Fork, shaking people out of bed from blocks away. Joining us live from American Fork is former KSL photojournalist Steve Landine, who lives just a few blocks away. Is that right, Steve? Yeah, it's just maybe a half mile as the crow flies. So did the ground shake at your house? Absolutely. I had just gotten up to go to the bathroom. Went back and laid in bed, and I'm looking at the clock, trying to decide do I get up or should I try to go back to sleep. And I felt this shock wave come through that was immediately followed by that thump sound of an explosion. So I knew something had gone, but it felt like it was much farther away than it actually ended up being. So then did you just go outside? Actually, I I laid there for a few more minutes, and I heard sirens going. I thought, well, maybe I can see something. So I got some shoes on and went outside and looked to the east of my home, and I couldn't see anything. So I walked around the other side to the west side, and then I could see the columns of smoke. I thought, well, you know, we'll get a coat and drive over and see what's what's happening. So I was able to go over. On the, there's some railroad tracks immediately to the north of, of this little retirement community and I was able to get in and get some video and, and see what was going on. Yeah, I don't know if this is your video that we're looking at from KSL TV, but uh, we were yeah, mentioning that yeah, the, that's mine. Yeah, the garage door actually is blown out on this yeah, thing. That's what it that's what it looked like to me that like something happened in that garage. Um, there was insulation that was blown 50 yards away from that residence and um, it looked to me from my vantage point that uh, something happened in the garage and the fire continued into the home. Do you know, Steve, just from your being there on the scene, whether anybody was hurt? You know, I don't know. I I didn't hear official sound. Um, and I think that there's still more to come on that issue. Mm. One of the uh, neighbors who was out uh, on the railroad tracks with me said he was hearing scanner traffic, that there was someone inside. But, you know, I'm giving you secondhand information from a guy I don't even know. So I I can't confirm that. It'll have to come from official sources. Our our Adam Small uh, is on the scene, and we lost our connection with him uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. He was reporting it's a duplex. Is is it a single home or a duplex? (sighs) It looked to me that it was a single home. But I'm not super familiar 
with that. It's it's kind of a cul-de-sac at the end of a lane, and so it's not a through street, and I've never had occasion to go down in there. I, it's a relatively new development that I believe are retirement homes mostly, and it looked to me like unless it's a front back duplex, mm. that's possible. Um, is it? Yeah, um, I'd have to go back and look at the video and and see that that might. Yeah, that could be. Did you happen to notice, Steve? Did it cause any damage to the homes on either side? You know, when I was there, it was too dark to see. Oh, gotcha. I couldn't really yeah. couldn't really tell. But judging from that explosion, certainly windows have to be out. Mm. I mean, there's there's no no doubt. Yeah. Well, uh, we appreciate you reporting what you heard, what you felt, what you saw. And once a photojournalist, always a photojournalist, <laughs> yes. I guess. I mean, yeah, I appreciate the video, away. Steve, very much. Yeah, Steve Landine, yeah, uh, for, former KSL for, photojournalist, uh, lived just a few blocks away from this explosion. We're going to make another contact, I'm sure, with Adam Small as soon as we can, so stay with us. It's 749, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We go back to Andy Farnsworth. Tim, the delay's increasing on the 21st century. Freeway going from Magna through West Valley. I-15 slowdowns, not as bad as yesterday, but you got uh, slowing from Point of the Mountain to Draper. And now between 7200 and 53rd South, we see that every day, though. Bangator delays are uh, increasing at your uh, Taylorsville West Valley intersections for northbounders. Heather? You're going to need to add an extra five minutes on your commute through Davis County. This is due to a crash at Hillfield Road in Layton. Now, all the vehicles are over on the right shoulder, but you're supposed to leave the right lane open by law for safety reasons. And right now, traffic is backed up almost to a 700 South Clearfield. You'll see your brake lights just after you come on I-15 from 700 South. Other than that, you're still looking good on I-84 through the mountains, US-89, and Legacy Parkway. Eric? A little bit of slowdowns on Highway 6 northbound as you uh, get closer to I-15 in Spanish Fork once on the freeway. It's a pretty decent trek for uh, most of the way to uh, the county line, but at Timpanogos Highway, if you're northbound, uh, the uh, uh, slowdowns will start happening uh, as you head up towards uh, the county line. If you're out in Saratoga Springs or Eagle Mountain, slow Redwood Road approaching 20 2100 North, and if you're eastbound, so 2100 North, pretty slow getting over to the freeway now, too. Use Superior Water and Air for all your HVAC and plumbing needs. Call 974 9090 or visit superiorwaterandair.com. Superior Water and Air. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Let's get a look at that seven day forecast. It's brought to you by Performance Automotive. Bountiful, how you doing, Matt? Doing great, and so is the weather. 68 today. That's a solid couple of degrees warmer than yesterday. So if you liked it yesterday, you're going to love it today. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Shallow cool front, but temps stay elevated at 67. The most that front will do is bring a mountain shower and maybe some in the valleys. Partly cloudy 67 on Friday. And then Saturday, the changes will be windy the first half, then a cold front, 64 the high. Rain moving on in. Uh, Sunday showers 51. Upper 40s, low 50s as we work through middle of next week with more rain chances. So uh, there you go. Spring in Utah within a seven-day period. Yeah. Snow in the mountains, though, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Rain yes. in the valleys. Uh, right now, just sunny skies. 43 degrees downtown, and uh, we'll get another peek at money news coming up in just a minute. I switched my checking account over to Elevated Checking. That's what they call it, Elevated Checking yeah. at Utah Community Credit Which is a Union. perfect name, by the way. Yeah, I, I, because it offers you so much more. It's so much. I don't even think of it as a checking account. I think of it as my access to all this free stuff. Like, I get telehealth appointments with zero copay. I get roadside assistance 24-7. I get cell phone protection. I get all these fun deals on food and all kinds of other stuff. As part of my checking account. And people are saying, I don't think I heard you right on that. You get all of those things 24-7, but you also get identity moderate, uh, monitoring. You get dark web mom monitoring, which I didn't even know was possible these days. And if you uh, take advantage of elevated checking at uh, UCCU, you're also going to get a discount uh, on your... Uh, loan interest. And overdraft forgiveness and like 30,000 ATMs nationwide without any kind of a fee. I just don't know why you'd have a checking account anywhere else because you're going to go nuts when you see all this free stuff you get. And the best thing of all, elevated checking is free when you... Uh for instance, use your debit or credit card 15 times or more a month, which everybody does. Everybody does. Or everybody Or does. like for me, because I get my direct deposit there. Yeah, it is so easy. Find out more by going to uccu.com or stop into any branch. Utah Community Credit Union. Love where you bank. 
Happy Place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. Already feels like home. Advanced Window Products. $2,500 off 10 windows or more. Advancedwindows.com. Affordable windows. Guaranteed. Devotion to country. Service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat, watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us Dave and Eugenific. Let's talk about gas price whiplash. Right now, gas price is 50 cents more than they were last month, but it's still down from this time last year. We'll walk you through the top two reasons why gas prices are going up today on Dave and Duchanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The markets in the first half hour are down, but not by much. The Dow off 32, the S&P is down just two, and the NASDAQ down 11 this hour. It's time for Cougar Tracks with KSL's BYU insider, Mitch Harper. BYU basketball arrived in Omaha, Nebraska yesterday evening as they get settled in for their first NCAA tournament appearance in three years. It's been well documented that BYU dropped a seed line because of its no Sunday policy, but landing at a six and drawing 11 seed Duquesne appears to be a favorable draw. That according to college basketball analytics guru Ken Pomeroy, who was on the KSL Sports Zone. Well, I would say BYU was done a huge favor by uh, giving, being given that opponent. So Duquesne as an 11 seed is really a historically weak 11. I mean, they're weaker than some 12s and 13s in this bracket. So I, I know BYU got got moved down a seed line to, to make the bracket work for them and the schedule work for them. They deserved a five. They got a six. But they were done a huge favor in terms of who their opponent was. BYU versus Duquesne tips off tomorrow at 1040 a.m. with extended pregame coverage tipping off at 9 right here on KSL. With Cougar Tracks from Omaha, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars. KSL News Radio. A lot of you already know that when it comes to HVAC maintenance, repair, and replacement, no one helps more homeowners than any hour services. And if you've been thinking about replacing your old furnace and air conditioner, this ad's for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and right now we're having our most popular sale of the year. Here's how it works. When you have Any Hour Services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. The furnace is free. You just pay the labor. One of the reasons this sale is so popular? There are no gimmicks. Like, you have to buy our most expensive air conditioner to qualify for a free furnace. You could buy our most basic, least expensive air conditioner, and you'd still get a new furnace for just the cost to install it. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services by March 31st and schedule a free estimate. One of our HVAC supervisors will come to your home and explain everything. If you think you might be interested, call Any Hour Services today and schedule your free estimate. 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. 
Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. 759 Traffic and Weather brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County. Delays are still at Point of the Mountain, but only last for a couple of blocks to Bangor. And then you've got more slowing. If you're just coming up on 7200 South, Midvale area, uh, you're going to hit backups between there and 33rd. 201 freeway slow through West Valley. Backups on Mountain View and Bangor, mostly at 3500 South. Although you might catch it at a couple of different intersections. Those are at the worst, though. Heather? Our slowest traffic right now is southbound 15 between 700 South and Clearfield down to Hillfield Road in Layton due to a crash over on the right shoulder. But we also have a lot of congestion now on Harrison Boulevard in Ogden, as well as 5600 South in Roy. Most of that is eastbound between 3500 West and I-15. Eric? A couple of spots of slowing northbound I-15, Utah County, one approaching Pleasant Grove Boulevard, exit the other from Timpanogos Highway up to the point of the mountain. Need a perfect event venue? There's a place. This is the place Heritage Park. Ideal for weddings, events, and featuring 11 venues, beautiful grounds, and affordability for any celebration. Call or visit thisistheplace.org. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Here comes that sunshine. 68 later, and right now it's 43 in Salt Lake. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. It is breaking news on KSL. A house exploded in American Fork this morning, not far from 300 East and Main Street. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live on the scene and has the very latest. Adam? Amanda, there is still a smoky haze in the air over the skies of American Fork this morning. Still a ton of police and fire vehicles. Uh, right here, blocking off this 330 East Block neighborhood right off of Main Street. Uh, just an important thing to know, this Main Street is still open, but the entrance to this neighborhood is a no-go as police and fire rescue are still investigating this massive home explosion. American Ford Police Chief Cameron Paul tells me they are still working to figure out what led up to this. Fire is now out, but we're still trying to determine exactly what we've got. We don't know what caused the explosion. We don't know hardly anything else at this point. The biggest thing right now is Paul says they don't know if anyone was inside this duplex when it exploded uh, just about two hours ago. Crews are still working to actually sure up uh, whatever is left of that duplex after it was completely destroyed, uh, trying to sure that up to make sure they can go inside that home and do a more extensive search to make sure nobody was inside. We'll keep you updated with any new details that come our way. Live at the scene in American Fork, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Retired KSL photojournalist Steve Landine lives just a few blocks away from the explosion, and he spoke with us just moments ago. And I felt this shock wave come through that was immediately followed by that thump sound of an explosion. So I knew something had gone. He went outside, saw the columns of smoke in the sky. He then went and took some video of the scene, which we will have posted shortly at kslnewsradio.com. He told us there was insulation from this house or this duplex that was blown 50 yards away. Mm -hmm. uh, be sure to stay with KSL News Radio as we continue to bring you updates on the story as we get them. Japantown community leaders are working with Salt Lake City to make First South a place that preserves their history, while at the same time supporting the potential downtown development of multiple sports stadiums. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson explains. During Tuesday's Redevelopment Agency meeting, a vision was unveiled for a walkway full of benches, art, trees, and monuments that honor Japanese culture. The project leader says that since a parking structure was erected there to support the Delta Center, Salt Palace, and future retail, Japantown leaders have been worried that they would just become an alleyway to other attractions. The new plan aims to support both parties' plans to support walkability, gathering spaces, and historical preservation. The funding has not yet been secured, but a preliminary estimate says the project would cost upward of $7.5 million. The owners of a downtown Salt Lake City bar have given up their liquor license. The bar on the corner of 1st South and 6th West was first opened in 1991 as The Trap, later being renamed The Sun Trap. 
A plumbing problem caused a one-day shutdown back in January, but Q Salt Lake Magazine reports just 10 days after reopening, the bar closed its doors again and hasn't reopened since. Now Michelle Schmidt from Utah's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Services says the owner has surrendered the bar's liquor license. The bar's phone line has been disconnected and the owner could not be reached for comment. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. A federal appeals court late last night put a Texas immigration law back on hold just hours after the Supreme Court cleared the way for the state to begin enforcing that law. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest now from Washington. The appeals court will hold a hearing today to determine what's next. Supporters of the law known as SB4 say something needs to be done to stop the influx of migrants crossing the border. The original law was signed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott last December and made illegally entering Texas a state crime subject to deportation. The Federal Reserve wraps up meetings today and will announce uh, what they're going to do with interest rates. This two-day meeting of the Fed is expected to have a direct effect on the U.S. economy, especially borrowing costs and everything from car loans to credit cards to mortgages. Many analysts foresee policymakers keeping interest rates steady but still high amid evidence inflation is cooling off, albeit slowly. Also likely to happen, the Fed signaling what it will do long-term about interest rates, including rate cuts later this year. Analysts say that approach would boost the stock market as well as consumer confidence and the overall economy. Derek Dennis, ABC News. First look traffic now. Let's go back to the traffic center. We've got slowdowns on uh, South 15 in Layton from a crash. There's a new crash on the West Belt going uh, north uh, just before you get to the 201 freeway. So far, only a minor slowdown in the right lane to pass by it. And you've got additional northbound 15 slowdowns in Linden, uh, Draper, and Midvale. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. One of Utah's richest men is headed to court as his neighbors try to stop him from building an 11,000 square foot home. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with that story. Peter? Tim, 10 would be neighbors of this 11,300 square foot mansion are accusing billionaire Matthew Prince of trying to skirt the community building rules for square footage and the building's height when he should be changing his housing plans to match those regulations. Now, Prince says this is the teapot calling the kettle black. Every single one of the lots is over the height restrictions. Every single one of the lots has an interior height, which is more than we're being asked to be held to. Now, Prince previously tried and failed to lobby the legislature for a bill that would approve the property over local concerns, according to reporting by the Salt Lake Tribune. This case will go to a three-person appeals court soon. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. The FBI is investigating after a man got onto a flight out of Salt Lake City without a ticket. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Police say Wycliffe Florizard was removed from a Delta flight headed for Austin, Texas after it was discovered he didn't have a ticket. Police documents show he had a boarding pass when passing through TSA, just not for the flight he got on. Florizar told police his friend gave him a buddy pass for a Southwest flight, but it was full, so he decided to hop on the other one. CBS reports there is security camera footage of him secretly using his phone to take pictures of other people's boarding passes to get on the plane. He first tried to hide in the bathroom, but when he got out, no seats are open for him to take. He's currently in police custody. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. A northbound crash on the 215 West Belt approaching the 201 Highway is helping to slow things down there. Traffic and weather together coming up next. BYU to Cage. Jackson Robinson with pull and fire. And score from three again. Special extended pregame starts Thursday morning at 9 on Utah's legacy home of the Cougars. KSL News Radio. It's finally time to say goodbye to the snow and hello to spring. And right now is the best time to spring into adventure in an RV from a Motorsportsland RV Center. Through this week, come check out Motorsportsland's season kickoff event and find the RV of your dreams at best of your pricing. Is your next adventure in a Class A motorhome? Come check out our 33-foot Georgetown 33B3 right now and save over $57,000 off MSRP. Or maybe a luxury fifth wheel is more your style. Check out our Durango Gold 386 FLF right now for over $45,000 off MSRP. Want to bring all the toys? Check out our 30-foot Raptor Carbon Series toy hauler on sale now for under $37,000 with financing under $340 a month OAC. Ask about zero-down financing options as well. See details and more amazing deals on premium RVs at motorsportsland.com. Let Motorsportsland help you get away. Motorsportsland.com.
Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. Hi, this is Doug Ride. This is such a great time here in the state of Utah. The weather is changing. Spring is almost here, and we really have the best of both worlds. You can still go up and do some great skiing, and then you can play a round of golf. There are so many wonderful things that are going on. And if you want to top off whatever your great day includes... How about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse? Up skiing in the mountains? Sure. Go to Hotel Park City and Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Maybe something special is going on in the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. Great basketball tournaments. There are movies. There are plays. 275 Southwest Temple. There's a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse waiting for you. And from the moment you walk through the door, you feel that difference. The way you're treated, the way you're welcomed, the wait staff, how they take care of you. And then when the plate is put down in front of you, it is the best meal you are ever going to have at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. If you're just joining us this morning, we got word of a, a house that had exploded in American Fork this morning. Our Adam Small is on the scene. Fire is now out, but we're still trying to determine exactly what we've got. We don't know what caused the explosion. We don't know hardly anything else at this point. That is American Fork Police Chief Cameron Paul. We're working to get more information and find out if anyone was indeed in that home, so stay with us. It's 809. Time for a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. Tim, a lot of slow spots in the Salt Lake Valley as we get towards the peak or coming over the peak of the commute. Delays from the point of the mountain to Bangor Highway and then between 53rd and 45th South are the two busiest spots on the freeway. 201 freeway has been pretty busy this morning between 56th West and 215. And uh, it's better on Bangor now through most of West Valley, but there's still delays between 41 and 3500 South, actually on both Bangor and Mountain View. Heather? You're still going to have the unusual delays southbound I-15 between 700 South and Clearfield and Hillfield Road due to a crash still in the cleanup stages. All the emergency vehicles are over on the right shoulder. As you continue southbound, you'll have a few brake lights in Bountiful and again between Beck Street and downtown. Haven't seen any problems, though, all morning long on Legacy Parkway, but we're starting to see some slowing on the west side belt southbound as you approach the airport turnoff. Eric. I-15 in Utah County looking good from Santa Quinn up to about 800 north in or maybe 1600 north and and then at that point you're going to see some slowing as you go through Linden approaching the Pleasant Grove Boulevard exit then you got another patch of good movement up until Timpanogos Highway and then some more brake lights as you get up towards Point of the Mountain. Redwood Road slow as you head up to 2100 north if you're out in Saratoga Springs this morning and a little bit of slowing past that going up to the Camp Williams area too. For a limited time opening a 12-month certificate from Cypress Credit Union and get 5.25% APY. Learn more at any branch or visit cypresscu.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Another dose of vitamin D and mild temperatures. 68 the forecast high with sunny skies. Would not be surprised if someone hits 70 today. 44 overnight goes to 67 tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, but a chance for showers in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees and sunny downtown. Gas prices going up. Boy, I felt that at the gas station the oh, other boy. day. Oh, boy. What do they say? 50 cents over the last month or something? Man. Uh, Debbie will join us to talk about that and about the uh, prices going up specifically in Utah. More with Debbie Jujanovic just ahead. Stay with us and remember to look for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it. Between imagining living there and breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. Starting March 18th for three days only, shop limited-time doorbusters during Lowe's MVP's bonus days. Buy one Metabo HPT 15-degree roofing nailer. Get one box of Metabo HPT one and a quarter inch collated roofing nails free of $49.98 value. Plus, save $39 on a little giant A4 six-foot, 300-pound stepladder. Shop these deals and more while supplies last. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 320. Selection varies by location.
Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. Please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221. Or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors. And I'm proud to tell you, we don't lay off employees when things get tough. During the pandemic, we didn't let one of our installers go. Instead, we had them clean and remodel our offices so they could still get paid. Remember the 2008 housing crisis? It was a financial nightmare for even the biggest contractors. Still, we didn't lay off a single worker. Nope, we sacrificed profits to keep paying everyone. Look, when the economy's down, most contractors are quick to lay off their workers. It's the easiest way to save money when times get tight. But at RGS Exteriors, we're loyal to our people. You know why? Because it's the right thing to do. People first, people always. That's the RGS way. For gutters, siding, windows, and more, call RGS Exteriors at 801-280-3110 or visit rgsexteriors.com. That's rgsexteriors.com, 801-280-3110. KSL News Time, 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, a massive police and fire presence on American Fork off of Main Street this morning after a home explosion early this morning. In American Fork, I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, the number of marriages in the nation has returned to pre pandemic levels. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Speeds on I 15 are still uh, struggling in uh, Bluffdale and Murray. You got some southbound delay through Layton still because of a vehicle sitting on the right shoulder from an earlier crash. And the 21st South Freeway is backed up again this morning. Not as bad as yesterday, but it's still from Mountain View over to Bangor. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spring fever in full force again today, but changes for the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. A Texas law that would let local law enforcement arrest, detain, and possibly deport migrants suspected of being in the country illegally has been put on hold. The Supreme Court had allowed it to go forward. An appeals court stepped in and reversed that. Now it's halted once again. The Supreme Court had given its tacit approval to the statute that allows local police to arrest and detain people who might be in the country illegally. But the high court left the matter in the hands of the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which decided in the middle of the night to block enforcement of the law and to hold a hearing on the matter later today. ABC's Jim Ryan in Dallas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken headed back to the Middle East. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to address Republican senators here in the U.S. That is plans move forward on an invasion in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Did someone try to get the medical records of Kate Middleton after the Princess of Wales entered the London Clinic for abdominal surgery in January? ABC's Maggie Rooley in London says officials are looking into it. It's known as being one of the most respected clinics here in London, a place royals and prime ministers come because of its privacy and security, and it's why this potential data breach is so shocking. The Daily Mirror is reporting that a member of staff here is suspected of trying to access the princess's private medical records. That's a breach of UK law. As the nation ages, diseases that strike mostly older people are on the rise as well. One of them, Alzheimer's disease. Nearly 7 million people are living with the disease. That's 200,000 more than last year. And the number of deaths from Alzheimer's has more than doubled since the year 2000. And there's also the emotional and financial toll of taking care of loved ones. That's also growing. Right now, Americans are spending $360 billion to care for Alzheimer's patients. That's up $15 billion from just a year ago. ABC's Eva Pilgrim, not as happy as we used to be. The U.S. is fallen out of the top 20 in Gallup's World Happiness Report. People in Finland, Denmark, and Iceland, the happiest in the world. You're listening to ABC News. All right, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, but I play a little game with myself 
putting off filling the tank on the truck for as long as I can. And Debbie, today's that day. That's a dangerous habit to be in. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, gas prices are up 50 cents a gallon from a month ago. Uh, you see it as you drive by all of the gas stations, um, and it appears they could get even higher. There's two reasons, main reasons why they're they're higher right now. Summer blends are more expensive, and also we're getting into the spring and summer driving season. The second reason is, and I was a little more surprised by this, is that Ukraine is having a lot of success in Russia knocking out refineries. Mm. So they're hurt, hurting President Vladimir Putin in the pocketbook, where it hurts the most for him. Um, of course, uh, Russia provides a, a, a significant amount of oil. And if they're knocking out refineries and they can't supply that oil to the rest of the world. So there appears to be, that appears to be working for Ukrainians. But for those of us who are trying to fill up at the gas pumps, it's a lot more expensive. So I'm going to challenge people to stop complaining about this today on the show and actually do something about it. I'll get into some details about what I did about it to get gas prices on the back burner for me mentally and mm. in my budget very recently. And it's helped tremendously. I didn't realize until I made this move how much gas prices were affecting my budget. I was spending about $75 a week at mm. least filling up my tank. Dave Noriega, my co-host, has a similar story, only he is saving a lot more money based on the steps that he took late last year. Oh, I got to hear this, Debbie. Yeah. We'll look forward to having you tune in, Amanda, okay. along with the rest of the Wasatch <laughs> Front and beyond today, starting at 9 o'clock. We're going to go big on gas prices. And also, Matt Gephardt joining the show from KSL 5's investigative team on why your insurance rates might be going up because maybe your new cars are collecting some data on you yeah. secretly mm. and sending it to your insurance companies. Mm. So you want to stay tuned for uh, for that, and Matt will give us some tips on that. Dave and Deb, it's Dave and Dejanovic this morning, starting at the top of the hour. And this portion of Utah's morning news is brought to you by Revere Health. Traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Speaking of gas prices, and over to you, Andy. And slowdowns on I-15, still a pretty thick point of the mountain to Bangor. Now from uh, just after 90 south up into Murray. 21st South Freeway delays stayed pretty consistent between Mountain View Corridor and the 215 West Belt. And that's still the case as you drive right into the sun. Heather? All the emergency vehicles are gone from our crash southbound I-15 in Layton, but you still have a couple of vehicles that were involved in the crash on that right shoulder. So traffic is still a bit slow as you move through the Layton area. Now, once you get past there, you're mostly back to freeway speeds all the way into Salt Lake City, but we are seeing some off and on brake lights between Beck Street and downtown. And you'll still have a bit of congestion on some of the city streets in Ogden and Roy. Eric? We got northbound slowdowns in Utah County, the usual sort these days from 1600 north, northbound through Linden. It uh, does clear up by the time you get to the Pleasant Grove Boulevard exit. Getting over to the freeway, usual slow spots as well. Uh, first of all, out in Eagle Mountain, SR 73, that's a little bit slower than normal going through the center of town. And then once you get over to 2100 north, uh, you've got uh, some slowing as you approach 2300 west and uh, over, over on Pioneer Crossing too, uh, from Saratoga Springs, uh, heading over to American fork expect a couple extra minutes of delay there update your kitchen with durden's appliance where they meet any competitor's price visit durden's.com or on fifth south and bountiful durden's brands you know at prices you'll love eric butler in the ksl traffic center ksl 7 a forecast it starts out perfect 68 degrees today sunny skies 67 tomorrow partly cloudy but a chance for a shower in central Utah. 67, partly cloudy again for your Friday. We'll go 64 with a cold front Saturday day, bringing in rain. And Sunday, chance for showers, 51 colder, 49 mostly cloudy skies on Monday. Back at it with a couple of showers on Tuesday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. That sunshine making it tough to see our computer monitors this hour in the studio here, but it's uh, 43 degrees. And the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Breaking news. We have been following this home explosion in American Fork this morning, and we just got word that one person is dead. We'll get more about that to coming up when we check in with our Adam Small, who's on the scene. We'll try and find out who that person is. We assume they were in the house at the time of the explosion, but we shouldn't assume anything. We'll uh, check in and find out more just ahead. KSL News Time 823. Revere Health is dedicated to making healthcare easier and more accessible by offering the latest technologies to improve the patient experience. We offer convenient telehealth appointments so you can receive care from the comfort of your own home. 
We also offer an online patient portal called Follow My Health that enables you to manage your healthcare online. When you download the Follow My Health app, you can exchange direct messages with your doctor, view lab and test results as soon as they are available, renew prescriptions, and review upcoming appointments. If you're ready to schedule your annual physical for 2024, we've made that easier too. Revere Health now offers the ability to schedule appointments online for primary care and select specialties. Visit our website at reverehealth.com to learn more or to schedule your next appointment online. Through these convenient solutions, Revere Health demonstrates its commitment to quality, patient-centric care every day. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. Wasatch Front Businesses and Property Managers. GoPave Utah provides all asphalt repairs for your parking lot. For patching and paving along the Wasatch Front, contact GoPave Utah. GoPaveUtah.com. You wouldn't trust a butcher to babysit your pet pig. You wouldn't trust a lumberjack to repair your antiques. Or a professional wrestler to be your massage therapist. So why would you trust anyone but Amco to fix your car? For over 50 years, we've been the trusted experts in transmission repair. Check out Amco's multiple financing options so you can fix it fast and pay it off slow. Double A, MCO. Business, it's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these companies is a partner helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup in the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide, all choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round-the-clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business, the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. See why Comcast Business powers more small businesses than anyone else. Get started with fast speeds and advanced security for $49.99 a month for 12 months with a two-year contract. Plus, ask how to get up to an $800 prepaid car with a qualifying internet package. Don't wait. Call or go online to switch today. Ends 5524. Restrictions apply. New customers only with 50 megabits per second internet and security edge. Eagle Bell and auto pay required. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The Biden administration has reached an agreement to provide Intel with up to $8.5 billion in funding and $11 billion in loans for computer chip plants here in the United States in Arizona, Ohio, New Mexico, and Oregon. This is all part of the CHIPS Act meant to create incentives to create semiconductors here in the U.S. JetBlue dropping several cities, including Kansas City, Bogota, Colombia, Quito, Ecuador, and Lima, Peru. They're also going to end flights between New Orleans and Salt Lake City. We're uh, told they've lost more than $2 billion since 2019. Billionaire Sagar Adani is building a renewable energy park in India, five times the size of Paris, visible from space. It's a $20 billion project, and it'll be the world's biggest renewable energy plant when it's finished, which will take about five years, and it will generate enough power for 16 million homes. The uh, markets this hour, one full hour into the trading day, have made their way back into the green, but not by much. The Dow is up 14, the S&P is up just three, and the NASDAQ just uh, topped over seven points of a game. We have a crash in Layton that continues to be cleared on southbound I-15 right at uh, Hill Airford, the Hillfield Road exit. We'll check that and the rest of your commute just ahead. I know that buying a home can be one of the most stressful things you do as an adult, you know, especially if it's your first home. But really, whenever you buy a home or sell a home, it's like, oh, my gosh, I have to get the most money possible for this home. Because well, not just that. You make one misstep. Oh, and you could pay for it for the rest of your life. Yeah. So I just went through this process with the Stern team. My husband and I bought a condo and... This, I worked with Cammie there, but everyone I met there, because there are a lot, it really is a team. They're all different people who will help you stay on, tar, you know, on target and on task for what needs to happen. You don't need to worry about missing a step because they cover it all. Well, and I think you uh, actually told them that you know, what you were looking for, neighborhood as far as price yeah. and size and all the rest of it. And they just kept looking for you they and looking did. for you and looking for you uh, to, uh, you know, get you what you were uh, looking and hoping for. Here's the other thing we want you to know, that if you are trying to figure out what you could get for your home, there's an easy way to do it on their website. If you go to uh, SternTeam.com, 
Just click on sell and go to home evaluation. You put your address in there. Both of us did this. And yeah. within 30 seconds, literally, you get an estimate on what your home may be worth. Yeah. And if you need a cash offer, an instant cash offer, if that's your situation, they can do that. They can do a buy before you sell program. They have flexible fees. They have whatever you need to get this taken care of. So why not get started with that process today? Just go to sternteam.com or Google the Stern Team. Think about all the ways you use your phone. But are you getting KSL's breaking news updates? Filling up at the gas pump is getting more painful. Another officer involved shooting happened in Payson. Utah Highway Patrol says they made 64 DUI arrests. An update on that 12-year-old busted for driving a car on I-15. Get alerts, links to important story articles, and updates on severe weather and traffic. Text the word NEWS to 57500. That's the word NEWS to 57500. And stay connected to KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 829, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy hasn't been too bad this morning. No, we haven't had it like yesterday morning, but we do have slow spots right now. In fact, uh, people that are sitting on 201 right now feel like they're hardly moving in between 56 West and 215. Uh, and then uh, you've got slowdowns on I-15 that are pretty thick. They're not as long a delays between Lehigh and Draper. The delays right now are just between Bluffdale and uh, Draper right now, and then some more route around the 215 overpass going up into Murray. Heather? Traffic is still under the speed limit. Southbound I-15 through most of Layton due to a crash still over on the right shoulder at Hillfield Road. After that, you'll have a few brake lights as well between Beck Street and downtown Salt Lake City. We haven't had too many problems this morning on Legacy Parkway or I-84. US-89 a bit heavy at times, especially in the South Ogden area around Harrison Boulevard interchange and I-84. and I Eric? Our delays northbound I-15 in Linden in Utah County have been a little bit busier today uh, than in recent days, uh, but right now it does seem to be disapp- dissipating a little bit as you head from 1600 north up to the Pleasant Grove Boulevard exit. Further up the line, you do have brake tapping as well after you go past SR 93, SR 92, and head up to Point of the Mountain. And your usual delays intact, unfortunately, for Eagle Mountain Saratoga Springs drivers. Uh, first on SR 73 for eastbounders, and then on 2100 North and Pioneer Crossing. UDOT construction alert plan for delays on westbound I-215 this weekend as the road between 280 East and I-15 will be closed for bridge maintenance. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. And the weather forecast is beautiful. Today will be a beautiful spring day, 68 for a high, nothing but sunshine. Right now it's 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 8.30. KSL's top story this hour. A duplex in American Fork exploded this morning, sending debris up to 50 yards away from the home. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live on the scene where he just got an update from firefighters, and it sounds like that someone did die here. Adam, is that right? Yeah, Amanda, that is correct. Unfortunately, we've learned that two people were inside of this duplex when this home, this, uh, this home exploded uh, just before 6 o'clock this morning right here off of the uh, 330 East block off of American Forks Main Street. Uh, firefighters just told us that one woman was killed in this explosion. Another one in this duplex survived and uh, is being treated right now. We also learned that a dog actually survived this explosion as well, actually came out of the structure hours later, which is pretty remarkable. But again, we do not know what caused this explosion to begin with. It was it was very big. There's extensive damage. The home is literally completely destroyed. I can see a crane and firefighters working to try to survey this. They're actually going to have to dig and sift through all this debris to continue to learn what more happened and what led up to this early this morning. But again, we do know one woman is dead. We'll continue to uh, work to get updates this morning. Firefighters told us they should be back in about an hour with more information. So we'll keep you updated live here on KSL. In American Fork, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. A former KSL photojournalist lives just a few blocks away from where the explosion took place and spoke with us a short time ago. KSL News Radio's Randall Jepson continues our team coverage. And I felt this shock wave come through that was immediately followed by that thump sound of an explosion. Steve Landin says after a few minutes, he decided to go figure out what happened. That's when he saw columns of smoke. There's some railroad tracks immediately to the north of, of this little retirement community, and I was able to get in and get some video. Um, there was insulation that was blown 50 yards away from that residence, 
and um, it looked to me from my vantage point uh, something happened in the garage and the fire continued into the home. Landeen says this is a fairly new subdivision, but he's not sure who lives in the homes. Randall Jepps and KSL News Radio. And again, uh, we have learned that one person has died in this explosion. Be sure to stay with KSL News Radio as we continue to get updates on the story throughout the day. You can find videos, by the way, at kslnewsradio.com. Police are not saying yet why they chased down a motorhome in Kearns in a pursuit that led to multiple crashes. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with the latest. Peter? Amanda, the latest is that I actually just got off the phone with Unified Police Sergeant Amy Race, and she's provided some additional context here. What she says is that officers got calls about a suspicious motorhome at an apartment complex near West Valley City, and they went to check it out on patrol. And they found it about 1 p.m. yesterday and approached the vehicle, and that's when the driver made a getaway. That vehicle backed into the officer's vehicle and then took off. Police stayed on the tail of the RV from about 54 south of Bangor until 41st south in Bangor. The vehicle attempted to turn eastbound and crashed into a van which then rolled over on its side. Sergeant Race identified the driver as 39-year-old James Harper. She says Harper has a history with previous weapons charges, but the passenger in this case is not in police custody because they were said not to be involved with this pursuit. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Police are also still trying to figure out the details that led to a fight outside a funeral home that led to uh, multiple people being stabbed. KSL TV's Lauren Steinbrecher is following that story. Salt Lake City police say a fight led to a stabbing outside the Neil O'Donnell funeral home near 300 East, 100 South. They believe everyone involved was attending a funeral. Police say a vehicle took off and thanks to witnesses, police found it downtown. Police now say six people ended up in the hospital. How much longer will you be able to hit the slopes this year? KS on his radio's Emma Keddington has details on the expected closing dates for Utah ski resorts. Looks like Beaver Mountain, Cherry Peak, Eagle Point, Powder Mountain, and Sundance resorts are all closing the earliest on April 7th. Alta and Deer Valley will stay in operation until April 21st. You can ski at Park City until April 22nd and at Snow Basin until April 28th. Brian Head will be open clear into May, closing on the 5th. Solitude will close on May 12th. Brighton and Snowbird haven't announced closing dates yet. Emma Keddington, KSL News Radio. Spring means flowers, showers, and unfortunately, allergies. KSL News Radio's Claire Scott has some tips on how to avoid the dry, itchy eyes. The University of Utah Health says they see a rise in patients sniffling and sneezing with swollen red eyes during spring. So here's some tips to keep that from happening to you. The first one is for contact users. Try using your glasses more. Pollen can stick to your contacts and cause irritation. Avoid keeping windows open too long or using window fans because that can bring the pollen from outside inside. Keeping dust already inside at a minimum can also make a big difference. U Health tells us that extreme eye dryness can actually cause permanent damage. First look traffic, here's Eddie Farnsworth. I-15 traffic is still slow as you go through the middle of the valley, 7200 south in particular up into Murray. Utah County, that heavy stretch from Linden to Pleasant Grove is still there, as is some delay out on SR-73 trying to get past the ranches and make your way over towards Mountain View and Redwood. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The GOP-led House impeachment inquiry into President Biden continues today. ABC News national correspondent Stephen Portnoy has more. The House Oversight Committee will hear from Tony Bobolinsky and Jason Galanis, two former associates of Hunter Biden, who plan to testify about how they saw the then-Vice President helping his son in his work. It's a charge the White House has strongly denied. Democrats on the committee have called Lev Parnas, a former associate of Rudy Giuliani, who is expected to speak of GOP efforts to dig up dirt on the Bidens in Ukraine. The president's son, Hunter Biden, will not be taking part in today's hearing. Plans for a Weber County inland port have been pushed back. KS on his radio's Britt Johnson reports the holdup is centered around wetlands. It's a delicate balance to try and develop some of the wetlands of the Great Salt Lake. Many have expressed environmental concerns, and that's why they're taking this extra time to reevaluate the plans. They feel confident that they will get it right. Executive Director for the Utah Inland Port Authority, Ben Hart, says the port will actually be a value add for the area. Some of those funds will actually go back to the protection of the uh, wetlands and the Great Salt Lake itself in the area. The approval was supposed to happen next week, but now they will wait until May. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. Looks like the usual slowing. I-15 uh, northbound rounding the point of the mountain and then moving past the south interchange. We'll check in with the team next. 
a legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out any time to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. Every day, Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies, first aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Discover the power of hands-on learning at Tooele Technical College with an affordable, flexible, and achievable technical education. Apply today at TooeleTech.edu. TooeleTech.edu. Debbie, both you and I like to do it yourself. Whenever we can, we'll do it ourselves. One thing I will not mess with, the electrical work in my house. I'm just too nervous. I second that. I don't touch electrical either. Never have, never will. That's why we need Master Electrical on our team. DIY, that's right. If you're DIYing a project, don't touch the electrical system in your house. Make sure you call Master Electrical. And one of the things they'll do is they come out, they give you a bid. When you receive that bid for the work you want done, they honor that bid. So if it takes longer, if it's a little bit more difficult, they will just say, you know what? To keep a good relationship with you guys, I'm going to honor that bid no matter what. And they're always open, even for emergency services. So you want to give them a call today. Their number to call is 801-543-2222. Again, you're calling Master Electrical at 801-543-2222. Yeah, they serve everyone from Logan to Santa Quinn. All you have to do is either call them like you said, Deb, or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. 839, traffic and weather brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, Salt Lake Valley delays on I-15 are uh, still in place. Point of the Mountain to Bangor. You'll have to wait through that for four or five extra minutes. And then some additional delays now between 90th South and 215. For another day, we've got delays on 215 itself between I-15 and State. We just got a report of a crash on the West Belt at 4700 South. Heather? The earlier delays we had, southbound I-15 and Layton are now gone. You're at freeway speeds from Ogden all the way into North Salt Lake. But when you get to Beck Street, that's where the brakes will show up the rest of the way into downtown Salt Lake City. We haven't had any problems all morning on West Davis Highway, US 89, or Legacy Parkway. Eric? The slowdowns in Linden have uh, gone completely now if you're northbound I-15 in Utah County. So from Santa Quinn Payson uh, through most of Lehigh, everything is good. You will have some reduced speeds as you go by Timpanogos Highway and head up towards Point of the Mountain. Really slow down 2100 north eastbound from uh, Redwood Road over to the freeway. And those slowdowns continue out in Eagle Mountain uh, through the center of town. That's on the eastbound side uh, to this morning uh, heading out towards the crossroads area. Is the IRS harassing you? Are tax problems ruining your life? Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. High pressure gaining more ground today. That'll push temperatures to 68 by afternoon sunny skies. That's a solid 11 above the normal. Overnight, dipping off to 44, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, 67, partly cloudy, and a slight chance for a mountain shower and in central Utah. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Didn't take long for the temps to jump up a little bit, 46 degrees. We'll check back in with our Adam Small, who is on the scene of a home that exploded in American Fork this morning. We'll talk to Adam next here on KSL. Always remember to look for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio. We're Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. 
Step into a world of home transformation with The Blind Man, your ultimate partner in creating your dream home. Whether on a new home journey or refreshing your space, The Blind Man has you covered, literally. Envision the latest styles, cutting-edge technology, and elegance in shades, shutters, or blinds. Now, if you've hesitated to turn your dreams into reality, the moment has arrived. The Blind Man's buy four, get one free extravaganza on all exclusive Blind Man brand window coverings is here. Not just a sale, but a dream opportunity. Picture your home bathed in natural light or shaded for moments of privacy. The Blind Man understands your needs. They want all homes to be masterpieces. Unlock your dream home with the Blind Man's buy four, get one free deal. It's not just a window of opportunity. It's a gateway to artistic bliss. Don't miss out. Visit theblindman.com for a free in-home consultation. Yeah, free. Let the Blind Man transform your vision. Theblindman.com, where dreams meet reality. From Ogden to St. George, Utah's premier window covering provider. The Blind Man. From The Simpsons to Spider-Man and Mission Impossible to Men in Black, Danny Elfman has composed some of your favorite film and TV scores. March 22nd and 23rd, hear his iconic musical stylings as the Utah Symphony performs Danny Elfman's Percussion Concerto. In this highly anticipated concert, the symphony is joined by one of the greatest percussionists in the world, Colin Curie. Prepare to be amazed as he jumps from drums to xylophone to vibraphone and more. Tickets are going fast. Get yours at utahsymphony.org. On March 29th and 30th, hear a violinist at the top of her game. International competition winner Serena Huang is making her debut with the Utah Symphony, performing Dvorak's Violin Concerto. It's one of his most popular pieces, but so difficult that it's only attempted by the top violinists. Feel the energy in your limbs as the violinist's bow dances across your strings. It's monumental, dramatic, and selling fast. Get your tickets now at utahsymphony.org. Don't miss the Utah Symphony performing Dvorak's Violin Concerto. Get your tickets at utahsymphony.org. KSL News Time, 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, we now know one person has died after a house explosion in American Fork this morning. I'm KSL News Radio's Randall Jepson. Second, Utah's governor has signed two bills to help fund a new Major League Baseball stadium and a new arena for a potential NHL team in Salt Lake City. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Longest delay freeway right now is 201 from 56 West over to Redwood Road. You've also got backups between Point of the Mountain and uh, Draper, Sandy. Got some backups on Foothill. She come off 215. Utah County, though, at least I-15 is cleared, but we still have slowdowns on SR-73 out in Eagle Mountain. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular springtime 60s for the next couple of days, then rain over the weekend. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, downtown 46 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. According to the UN, nearly 70% of Gaza's population is experiencing catastrophic hunger. And now there are reports it could soon be that bad in Haiti as well. ABC's Matt Rivers has more from Port-au-Prince. We've seen that from the very beginning of this conflict, is that gangs are doing anything that they can to have leverage against both the population and the government. And that has included targeting in hospitals. It's including targeted containers that are at sitting at the port, a UNICEF container, for example, containing neonatal supplies, supplies needed for mothers who have given birth. They stole that stuff from the port. And they're stealing food as well. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today addressing Republican senators via teleconference as the U.S. tries to come up with alternatives for the expected Israeli invasion of Rafah, Gaza's largest city in the south. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals today will hear oral arguments in the Texas law that would allow law enforcement officers to arrest and detain migrants they think are in the country illegally. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. One person is dead, another injured after a house explosion this morning in American Fork. KS on News Radio's Adam Small has been on the scene over the past two hours speaking with police, firefighters, and neighbors. What do you know now, Adam? Well, Amanda, we know that this huge explosion, a boom heard from more than a mile away by some people um, and seen by some apparently all the way from the freeway this morning. Um, we know what happened just before six o'clock. We know that two women were inside this duplex. Uh, I don't know if they were living in the same place or if one was living in one, one in the other. We do know one of those women has been killed. We know that the other woman was injured but survived. Uh, we also know that a dog actually somehow survived and managed to come out of the, the structure, which has been blown to smithereens uh, so hours after this happened. Um, and we know that there, there is extensive damage. This home is completely destroyed. 
Firefighters have also told us that uh, surrounding homes also have damage. We don't know if that, how many people that's necessarily affecting uh, the extent of that damage. If anyone's been told to either, well, obviously avoid the area, but we don't know if any people living here have been told to, to stay out of their homes if they're unsafe or anything like that. Um, but it, it's been it's been quite the senior this morning. Boy, and the reports are that uh, debris and, and in some cases uh, insulation even blown 50 yards away from this house. Obviously, it was a, a sizable explosion. Yeah, it was. I mean, there are people that that heard and saw this. I mean, you're, you're talking some people I've talked to heard this from over a mile away. It was a, a huge explosion that caused a lot of damage. Um, I've seen firefighters approach this uh, head on. They've actually brought in a crane. Uh, to try to make sure that you know they they can work and safely you know get through this this all this debris that's been um, scattered all over the place. It's been hard to see from the where they have us staged uh, off of uh, you know probably about a quarter mile away or so. But it's uh, yeah that it's it it caused a significant amount of damage. I mean I you know when we talk to police and firefighters on scenes like this, I mean they're obviously very poised and have to handle some very heavy stuff, but. From from just the the looks and the responses we've gotten from firefighters here, I think even some of them were were kind of blown away by how much damage this explosion caused. I've heard it described, Adam, as a retirement community. Is is that true? Are these retired people living in this area? Well, that's what we've been hearing too. And and I was I did ask firefighters when they when they spoke to us, um, you know, if if they knew potentially how old these these two women were, and they did not have that information at at least at this point. Where we're going to f- figure that out, I mean, I've, I've seen a couple people maybe come in and out of this uh, blockade that police have put up, um, maybe more on the on the older side. I'm not sure if maybe they had any relation or just lived nearby, but but that is what we're hearing, that there were there were some retired people living in this area. And you know, we're still working to figure out how old uh, specifically these two women inside this duplex were. We've had incidences like this in the past that ended up being natural gas uh, leaks and then a pilot light or something. Are they even speculating on anything at this point? They haven't really given us a hint at anything right now. I, I think at this point, because of how much damage it caused, I, I they might not even have a, a clue at this point right now. But I, I did talk with Steve, our retired photojournalist at KSL. I mean, he 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 was kind of speculating it could be gas, but of course, um, in terms of what firefighters are saying, they straight up just say like we we don't know. We are trying to figure out exactly what caused this, but I mean, it it had to be something that that could pack quite the punch because this this was a very significant explosion. But we'll we'll keep trying to gather those details for you. Thank you, Adam, and we'll look forward to your reports. Adam Small reporting live from the scene of that home explosion in American Fork this morning on the in-depth at 15 and 45. All right, if you're still making your way in, we've got some significant slowdowns going on on the south end right now. So let's get a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. That looks a little out of the norm, Andy. Yeah, it's slowing on the 201 freeway. Part of it's driving into the glare of the sun. Part of it is a crash on the left shoulder just before Bangor Highway, but slowdowns extend even beyond where this crash is. It's pretty sluggish between 56 West and Redwood Road. I-15 uh, delays have been at basically between Point of the Mountain and Bangor for most of the morning, but now we've got some stop-and-go traffic just approaching 106 South. Might be a crash or something there, as well as delays switching from I-15 on to 215 South Belt. Heather? We've got some huge delays in Roy. This is on 1900 West. It's northbound between 6000 South all the way up to Riverdale Road. Not sure if we have a crash or there's traffic light issues, but that's going to take you a long time to get through right now. On I-15 itself, you're pretty much at freeway speeds from Ogden to Salt Lake City with a bit of slow and stop and go traffic between Beck Street and downtown. Eric? Well, SR-73 uh, traffic for eastbounders in Eagle Mountain, really slow uh, from Canyon Wash Drive all the way out to Ranches Parkway. Once you get past that, uh, you'll finally get back to a pretty normal speed as you head over uh, towards uh, I-15. If you're taking I- uh, uh, 2100 north over to I-15, don't expect further slowdowns. They're not as bad on Pioneer Crossing. If you're in Utah County on I-15, the only slowdowns right now are northbound from SR-92 up to the county line. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts cash event, bonus cash event. Get 11% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000 including countertops, sinks, and and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 day forecast starting out with some flawless spring weather. 68 today, sunny skies. Tomorrow, a couple of more clouds, 67. Again, with a chance for a shower in central Utah. 
Friday, partly cloudy, 67. We go 64 with a chance for rain as a cold front plows through Saturday afternoon. Sunday, colder, 51. Chance for rain, mostly cloudy, 49. Monday and into Tuesday, we go 50 degrees with another chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 46 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Well, a couple of wins last night. Wagner and Colorado State move on as a 16 seed and now get uh, blessed with having to play the top seed yeah. <laughs> in the brackets. I just want to remind everybody, Cougs are playing tomorrow morning, of course, but we'll have bracket updates for you every 15 minutes starting at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So a little uh, madness going on right here. Hope you'll join us on KSL. I love being a bartender. I love waiting tables. But at the end of my shift, my feet were killing me. And so I had to pretend like I was having a good time. And really, I couldn't wait to sit down. But it wasn't just my feet. It was also my knees were achy. A lot of neck pain, too. I was in so much pain. I kind of lost hope, really. And then I saw the Good Feet store, and that's when everything changed. For over 20 years, we've helped people like Kristen enjoy their work again without their feet getting in the way. It was pretty shocking to realize that I'd been in so much pain and suddenly I'm completely pain free. Now that I have the Good Feet Arch Supports, I don't have to pretend to be happy. I'm genuinely happy. So, cheers. My name is Kristen and that's my Good Feet story. See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1-800-NEW-FEET or visit goodfeet.com. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at masterroofingutah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. It already feels like home. Furnishing our living spaces hasn't changed much in decades. Until now. Euromax authentic European furniture starts with the room. Cabinets, sliding doors, dressers, and desks that are as smart as they are sleek and modern. Combining classic European design, exceptional quality American craftsmanship with convenience, comfort, and technology. Euromax declutters your space, designing entire walls of elegant, smart, and stylish storage, taking beautiful advantage of every inch. Living rooms, bathrooms, kitchen, and bedrooms. Features like concealed wiring, built-in charging, integrated lighting, automation and tech. Sustainable, eco-friendly furniture built for your lifestyle without compromise. Construction, finish, and hardware feature a lifetime warranty. Prepare to be excited about your living space. See it in action at EuromaxFurniture.com. EuromaxFurniture.com. Euromax, built for you. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The markets are mixed right now. The Dow is uh, up about 36 points. That's a tenth. The S&P is up less than a point. The NASDAQ actually down 12 right now.